everybody! Welcome to the storm. We are live, live, live. Hello, everybody. This is Jason Lives. And this is Jessica Keller. Uh, we are coming to you live from Cushions, Billiards, and Lounge. We are this place is great. Yeah, it's I tell a nice you what, place. What a friendly bunch of people. Oh, yeah. I like them all. Oh, yeah. I There's like a- them all. There's a I don't know any of their names. But I, like I have them all. a list for you. Oh, look at a that! A whole list of everybody's names. Nice. Um, so we are uh, getting ready to start this blind draw. Uh, please let us know if you can hear us, if you can see us, how everything is going. Let me just double check here. And we are live on the storm. The Storm Facebook page. Folks, give us a like, give us a share. Let's get these girls some uh, some popularity going here. Let's get this stream up and running. So we are going to get going here, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I just got called to Board 6. All right. Is, is Board 6 the streaming board? Board 6 is the streaming board. Well, how exciting is that? So isn't that exciting? So I will be the first player you stream tonight, That Jess. is so great. So you and Tupaco yep. uh, are going to be playing Glenn and Michael. Uh, Glenn's there warming up. Uh, All right. Glenn is a great shot. All right. He is, a, he is a heck of a shot. What if someone talks trash in his ear the whole time? I think he'd be unfazed by it. Honestly. Oh, really? I do. All right, all right. It's tough enough getting him to crack a smile. I don't think he, I don't know he'll crack him. All right, well, that sounds good. Well, we got to get someone over here to talk with you. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to go and put my headset down and go over there. I think everybody else is playing. Am I right? You are right. I won't leave you by yourself. That's okay. You're I can be, be right I will be fine. All right. Well, listen, say nothing but good things about me. I won't. I'll say everything bad. No, well, then, <laughs> you're no longer my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, thanks for joining us. Give us a like. Give us a share. Let's get these girls, this team, up and running. They are they are in need of some Facebook fellows. They are trying things out. They are brave, and they are working their butt off. They've been here since 2.30 today, working. They try and get this all worked out, and they've done a fantastic job. Yes. And I've sat around and ate sandwiches and drank tonic water. But did you that. enjoy your sandwich? I, I tell you what, I enjoyed them all. And you got some <laughs> fantastic food and some fantastic employees here, that's for certain. All right. Paco's giving me the eye. All right. Good luck, Jason. Uh, I'm going to need it. Good luck, good luck. All right, everybody. So we are going to get this started here. Um, so uh, first match... Uh, on the stream is going to be Jason and Paco, uh, and they're going to be playing Michael um, and Glenn. So they're getting going. Um, so I'll take a minute here to just kind of talk about um, a little bit about what we're trying to do here. Um, so Lori Simpkins and I, uh, along with Tommy Coburn, uh, we. Um, just basically have a vision where we want to bring attention to soft tip darts. Um, regardless of skill level, regardless of how long you've been playing, regardless of whether or not you're comfortable on camera, that's what we're here for. We want to get you comfortable on camera. So uh, it looks like they're going to be getting started here pretty soon. Um, so, thank you. They're making me a barrier so people stop coming up to me and bothering me. So, Jason's going to start us off here. Um, you know, obviously, without Jason coming in today and uh, giving us um, lots of advice and lots of help, um, we would not be where we're at right now. Um, he came this weekend, uh, stacked with equipment, um, with hats, trinkets, stuff, all, all kinds of stuff that he made uh, for us. Um, so we'll actually have some really cool stuff to give away at the meet and greet. Um, so if uh, keep uh, keep an eye on that because we're doing that on Thursday, Lori Simpkins and I. Um, so we got Paco coming up. 
the big 73 score. So uh, up here on the line is uh, Glenn. Uh, Glenn's been playing for about two years. Um, super, super good shot. Oh, a big low ton from Jason Ives. Big low ton coming in and knocking 119 points off their score. Uh, Michael's up on the line now. Uh, Michael's a uh, relatively new player. Um, this is probably his first time playing on a live stream. Um, I know that uh, the first time you get on a live stream, it can be a little nerve-wracking. Um, one of the biggest reasons why we wanted to start doing something like this uh, was because we know that a lot of these big tournaments and things like that, um, that you have a pretty good chance of uh, getting to play on a live stream board, and sometimes that can create a lot of nerves. So, uh, obviously, this is my first time doing a stream. Um, so, you know, any advice, input, anything like that, I'd be happy to listen to your feedback. Glenn's going to switch it up and try for them 20s. He's going to miss it just, just a little on the outside. So we got Jason coming up to the board. So if you kind of see in the, uh, so let's see, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 20. So we got 26 players in tonight's blind draw. Uh, we are just doing the one board uh, for streaming, so we are trying to make sure that we'll get everybody up on the stream, hopefully. Um, so the format uh, for the blind draw is 501 Cricket Choice. It's a uh, race on both sides, uh, winner side and loser side. Um, so it's uh, first person to win two games. Uh, if you go to a third, it's a diddle. Uh, you get to choose whether or not you go first, or you get to pick your game, whether it's 501 or cricket. There's one. Up, oh, there's two. Oh, and just outside on the 180, Glenn hits a big 140. That was a huge shot by Glenn. So we got Jason coming up to the board. Uh, hopefully he'll be uh, the first to get his team down to an out shot. Ooh, and that's a tough ask, asking 180 out. It is open out. Uh, so everybody can hit one of those. So let's see if Ian is going to take a shot at it here. It is a tough ask, taking a 180 out. But uh, let's see if he can, ah, uh, uh, he did go for it. Just missed it on the one there. That's still a, that's a, that's a big out, but it is a uh, doable out. So uh, Glenn's going to step up here and see what he does. He hits that big triple. Oh, and just outside on that bullseye. Let's see what he goes for here. Oh, it was a good thought. Good thought. So let's uh, see Jason up here. See if he can take out this 154. He is more than capable of doing so. Uh, and he just messes it on the wire. There's one bull. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, I am solo right now because all of my counterparts are playing in this blind draw. So Lori, Tommy, and Jason are all actively playing right now. So please forgive me for any dead space or dead air. I uh, 
Sometimes I run out of things to say. So we got Paco coming up, trying to take out this big 93. Let's see what we get here. There's that bullseye, double right in the center. Oh, and a miss off the board. He's able to knock off 58 points, but that's gonna bring up Big Glenn. Take out this 55. Let's see how he goes, see which way he goes about it here. Let's see if he'll go three for bull. Ah, he went bull for three. Oh, and he knocks it off. Big shot by Glenn. So that is going to put Michael and Glenn up 1-0 against Jason and Paco. We're going to move on to cricket. There's Mr. Dreamboat himself, Patrick McGinnis. I love you. He is here in the flesh. Ah, Wags, thank you. Uh, I've always been told that I have a face for radio. And I embrace that. This is always something that I've wanted to do. Um, I, uh, I am very passionate about two things, darts and the radio. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's a big five mark from Jason Ives, knocking out the 20s and adding 40 points to the board. So let's, uh, let's see what Michael's answer is here. And he's right there on those 19s. Oh, just on the wire on both sides. And hits that triple three at the end there. So that's gonna bring up Paco. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, right there, but he does get a single mark on the 19. So that is gonna bring up Glenn. I have seen this man hit more nine marks in my life than I care to admit. See if he can sneak in that triple. Uh, he does not, but he does manage to knock two marks out on those 19s. So that's gonna bring up Jason. Jason on the board, throwing a five. Let's see if he can keep up his, that average. Oh man. Oh, and that's a big, that is a big four mark there from Jason. So that is going to make it work for Michael here on the line. Let's see if he can knock out those 18s and get some points on the board. He's going to take a shot at those 17s. See, some people prefer the bottom half of the board. So really, it's about what you're the most comfortable with. So he does manage to close those 19s. And that's going to bring Paco up to the line. And he's going straight at those 18s. And he hits that triple. Let's see. Oh, and he goes back down to the 7s and misses just on the wire. So right now we've got Jason and Paco up 78 points and two houses. So let's see what Glenn is going to do here. He's going straight at those 17s. Uh, and he's going to hit four of them. So he's going to put 17 points on the board for their side. But we got Jason up to the line. So let's see where he decides to go. He's going to take a straight shot at those 17s. And he's going to close them. That is a big close. So that takes away the only house that they have open. So Michael's going to have to try to open up a new number here. So let us see where he decides to go here. Guys, let me know if uh, the audio is syncing up um, with the visual. Um, I want to make sure that I'm not uh, spoiling the fun. 
of what marks are being hit and what's uh, getting closed out here. Um, so please uh, <clears throat> let me know in the comments. Um, there's Paco with a big close on those 16s. So that's going to bring Glenn up to the line. He's going to hit one triple. Let's see if he can get a second. And he does. He buries six in the 15s. And he gets them within 16 points. They do have some work to do. But depending on what Jason does here, might be a little bit too late. So let's see what he, ha he can get done here. He's just outside on those triple twos. There it is, that triple 15. And there's that bullseye. Sean Green, Mr. Sean Green, the voice himself, chiming in. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for loaning us, Jason. So we're going to see Michael take a shot here at these bullseyes. Ah, oh, there's a double right in the center. Can he get another? Ah, oh, just low. Just low, just low. So now we got Paco. You know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch us on over to this bullseye cam. Oh, and he misses just on the outside. So we got Glenn coming in, and I'm going to stay on this bullseye cam. And we're going to see here, he's just under. Let's see if he can't pile a couple in the center. There's one, and they take the point lead with that double bullseye, and he hits another. So they do take the point lead. Glenn with three bulls, big bullseyes. So let's see what Jason's going to do here. He hits that triple 20. Let's see if he can close it out with a double bull. Oh, he's just under. Oh, and he gets one. He gets one and 60 points to boot. So let's see what Michael can do here. Sean Green, if uh, if I see a nine mark today, I will pay you homage with a boom. Oh, there's a bullseye just under one point. Let's see if he can get another, and he does. So he knocks them back up with the point lead. So let's see what Tupaco can do here. Tupaco does have winning darts in his hand. So he hits that double 18. Can he hit the bull? Oh, and he misses it just off the outside. Again, I'm going to stay right here on this bullseye cam. Oh, well, looky who we have here. Isn't it so nice? I've got Tommy Coburn sitting up, in. People? What's up? I just got done playing a game with Brian. Nice. We I, won. You did Went to win. A rubber match and can't believe who you pl we played the first round. Who did you play? Lori Simpkins and your wife. And my wife. Yep. Oh, and there's Glenn burying it in the double bullseye, taking a hefty, hefty point lead. So let's see what Jason does here. Jason also does have winning darts in his hand. Let's flip back over to this main board. He nails that trip 20. Can he seal it? Oh, he's just outside. Such a close, close shot right there. Man, that was uh, that's so that's gonna bring Michael up. Michael's gonna try and give them back the point lead. He can do that with a couple of bullseyes here. And Michael is one of our newer daughters. He is, Jackson yes. Coming out and jumping in the big boy pond. Yeah. Oh, big, big mark. Though. He does get the one mark on the 20s. But I'm going to switch back over to this bullseye camera. Oh, yeah, Tupaco can win it with a bullseye here. And that will force this to a decider. So let's see if he can hit that bull. Oh, and he's just outside. And that's going to bring up Glenn. And I was telling him, I have watched Glenn throw some incredible darts. Glenn's our bar baby. He is our bar baby. That is true. Up, 
Oh, and he misses just outside. So I'm going to flip over to the bullseye camera. Jason can win it here and send it to a decider. We got um, our new best friend, Jason I, stepping up. He's the man. He is awesome. And there he does. He does. And he finishes that game with great a 3.79. Wow. Yeah, that's some great darts by two great teams. That is some great. That was a great shot. That was a good match. So uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna diddle here. So let's... Uh, Oh, is that going to the rubber match That's now? going to the no, rubber I match came now. Over just in time. We got our you game did, yeah, you time. did. You came over just in time. Big so let's see here. Kind of here. Oh, and it looks like... Ooh, that might... That looks like that Paco maybe answer. is a little bit closer. That let's Paco see. That was Paco and Michael doing the piddle. The piddle diddle. The piddle. So I've got the chat up here on the live stream, and we have Mr. Sean Green oh, is in the chat chiming right. in. How you doing, brother? Mr. Boom goes the dynamite himself. Boom is the dynamite. Hope so uh, enjoying the stream so far. I'm popping in when I'm not playing. Hang out with my best friend. Yes, and we'll have Lori, Jason, Tommy, and I will be popping in and out. Yes. So it looks like they're going to go cricket for their decider, and Glenn and Michael will be going first. So Glenn, Michael did darts, win that diddle. That's true. Down. Will we see it? Oh man, I wanted a boom. Oh. Glenn opens with a big, big four, four more, big knocks four out those twenties. Was Jason's best friend in the last cricket match? Oh, yes, I believe it. Oh, hi, Mr. Ryan George. What's up, Ryan? Ryan in the Welcome comments. The What's up? Welcome to the party. We just over here playing darts tonight. That's right. So Jason able to close out those 20s and take away that house so they can't get the points. Sean, I agree with you there. Ryan George is Monster. my favorite kind of celebrity. So there's Michael Berry in a trip 19. Two trip 19s. Can he get a third? Oh. And a big, big six mark. Big six mark. Big six mark. Big six mark on those 19s to give him and Jay and uh, uh, Glenn the point lead there. Here comes in. Oh, big mark on the 18s though. That could help at the end. And I am on two, so I have You're fun on board with you. Too. And I'll jump back in and All a little right, bit. I'm not playing. Thanks for Good hanging luck. out with me. Good luck. Thank you for hanging out with me. Grab Lori. Bring her over here. So there is a triple 18. Oh, and he's just wide on the 17s. Glenn, I can tell already, is starting to find his stride. So we got Jason coming up. And he's just wired that triple two. And he's able to get the two marks on the 17s. Ryan, that is okay. You are not that tardy. We just started. This is the rubber match of the first game on the streaming board, so you are just in time to see the action. And that's two big marks for Michael, but that leaves the 17s open for some points. Let's see if Ian can bury in some triples here. Yeah, he gets one, so he knocks out them 17s and puts 34 points up on the board. So that's going to bring Glenn up. Glenn can close the 17s there. Here's a one, triple. Let's see what he does here. Oh, and he hits that triple eight. He's right there on the wire. And he goes back for some trip 19s. It gives him an extended point lead. So that's going to bring Jason up to the board with some work to do. I didn't plug it in this time, I promise. And Jason does do that work. He's manages to get four on those 16s. So he opens that house up for his team. Let's see what Michael can do here. Three fat ones will close those 16s. Oh, and he just flights himself off into the seven. So that's going to bring Paco up, and he can do some damage on those 16s. Starts it out with a double, two doubles. There, there we go, big shot. 
five mark on the 16s and brings them within three points. So that's gonna bring Glenn up. I, just, I would say he'll throw at that 19 and hit that, I knew it. He'll close that 16. And let's see if he goes points or trip 15. And he went for the trip 15 and just got it in. Ryan, the direct audio is working a lot better. Um, we we have a uh, we have a soundboard, um, and we have oh, and we have uh, two headsets uh, with microphones, courtesy of Jason Ives, um, and Indie to the Point Streaming, which I cannot stress enough how grateful we are for Indie to the Point Streaming. Jason, Sean, all you guys. I mean, Ryan, you guys are were our inspiration for this. So, uh, you know, once again, I cannot tell you all enough. If you get a chance to get down to Indy, make sure that you give the Siege uh, an Indy to the Point streaming a like and a follow because um, their, their goal is the same as ours. We're just trying to keep darts alive, grow the sport. Um, you know, we all have one thing in common. That's our passion for darts. So let's see here what we're going to do with Glenn. And he's going to bury a trip 19, and he is going to buy them some bullseyes. So Jason up to the line with some work to do. Those averages there at the bottom are solid. We have a 3, 2, 5, a 3, a 2, 5, and a 3, 8. And that is incredible, especially considering that Michael and uh, Ian um, are relatively new to darts, um, but I will tell you those two are in this bar every single day practicing uh, for hours and hours, um, and that's what it's all about. Is we want we the more new players that we get involved in this sport, the longer it's going to go, the bigger it's going to grow, and that is the most important thing. So Michael is just outside on those bulls. Can he get one? And he does. He manages to get a single. So that is going to bring Ian back up to the line. Um, we were able to uh, kind of adjust the picture. Um, and there's a big bullseye. We were able to adjust the picture. So let me know um, if the visual quality is better than it was in the test. So I'm going to switch over to the bullseye cam here because Glenn can win this match with one in the black. And there's a single, can he finish? Oh, and he just wires himself on the outside. And now I'm joined by uh, fellow Storm owner and operator, Lori Simpkins. Hi everyone. So Lori is actually partnered up with my wife today. There's a big double bowl by Jason Ives. Puts 25 more points on the board. And a big shout out to Evelyn. She threw a 24 tonight. In she the one did. Game there you go. Sadie Davidson. Sadie Davidson, you said my job was for Evelyn to throw a 20 or better. And she is rocking it. Yes, she is. Oh, and he's just outside on that, so that's going to bring up Paco, and I believe Paco can take the point lead with three bullseyes here. So let's see. Oh, and he's just outside on those bullseyes. But once again, I mean, seeing these new guys out here mm -hmm. and seeing all these new dark players and all these new that's faces, it really is great, and that's exactly, you know, like I said, this is what... Lori and I wanted out of this is we want to bring darts to the average player, um, to the good player, to the bad player, and everything in between. Um, oh, and Glenn's just outside on all three of those, and that's going to bring up big dog Jason Ives. <laughs> big, big Jason. And Jason can't take the, let's, you know, let's wave on over to the bullseye camera there, Lori. Let's do it. And he did go ahead and close those 19s. I'm going to stay here on this bullseye camera because uh, Michael can win this game with a bullseye. And he is just outside on that 15. Come on, sit your butt down. <laughs> 
Jason's over here bullying Lori. <laughs> That's okay. Let's flip on out to the main board. Man, he is right there on those bullseyes, oh, and he's nice just a little Parker. low there. Yes. Ryan, we would love for you and Sean to make a trip up to Columbus and and commentate some matches. There it is, and Glenn, big Glenn with the win. Nice shot, Glenn. That's a great shot. Glenn finishing that game with a 2.86, and all hugs and all smiles <laughs> for the guys. Um, so that will do it for the first match. Let's give them a little bit of some clapping. There you go, yeah. That was a great match. Um, so that means that Glenn and Michael are going to be moving on on the winner's side. Um, and that will put Jason and Paco um, down into the second chance bracket, as I like to say. Um, so we are waiting on a next match. So we can take this time to talk about a couple of things that we have coming up. Yeah, sure. Um, we have um, our question and answer meet and greet. Um, and this is this coming Thursday. Yes. Um, so Lori and I will be live on the stream, um, and we will be here to answer any questions you have. Um, if you are interested in scheduling a match, we'll be able to have information for you. Um, we have a new way to sign up for Storm matches. Um, so uh, we'll be able to share that link with you. Um, we'll also be doing a giveaway that day. We have a massage and mimosa package donated um, from Holistically Balanced Massage. Um, so we will have a uh, mimosa and massage package that we will be ra uh, raffling off that day. Um, and we'll be able to uh, give you the skinny on upcoming storm matches. We do have some good ones in line for you. Um, so we are uh, also real quick would like to take a second and thank um, a couple of our sponsors. Obviously our host location. Um, and my home bar, that's Cushions, Billiards, and Lounge. Um, and then uh, Sarah and the wonderful, wonderful people over at Billiards Plus. Um, anything that you need, dart supplies, billiards, shuffleboard, they have everything that you need over at Billiards Plus. Including grills. They are now selling grills. Oh, grills. So go check out a grill, yes. Nice. So you can, it really is a one-stop shop it over really at Billiards is. Plus. Um, Billiards Plus is over off Sawmill Road. Um so it's literally in the middle of mm -hmm. Columbus. Um, 270 will get you there either way, whether you're coming from uh, the Flamingo in Marysville, which is Lori's home bar. Um, if you ever get a chance to check out one of their tournaments, they throw, they run a, a great establishment. They do great tournaments over there. Um, looking forward to the women's singles tournament mm -hmm. that we're, we're, we're re, we had to reschedule. We rescheduled till March. So in March. Yes. Um... So, we again, we appreciate you guys tuning in yes. and, uh, and all the support that we've had so far. It's really been a little bit overwhelming, yes. honestly. <laughs> um, it's, been, uh, it's been very, very cool to see, um, you know, really how many people are so passionate about the sport. I mean, yes. and that's what, it called, that's what it's all about. It's, all about. it's all about. It's about the darts. It's yes. about the darts and the dart player. Um, and, uh, oh, Mr. Greg Amex would like to know when he's going to play. Have you signed up, Greg? Hey, Greg, tell you what. How, how about you check us out on Thursday? We'll see if we can get you a date. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I guess what we're going to do really quickly is uh, I'm going to swap out real quick with Jason. Um, and take a quick break, and him and Lori are going to sit and chat with you guys. I'm actually minute. up, so are you I'm up? going to say bye for okay. now, and I will be back. Okay. All right, Lori's All right. up on a board. Okay. Okay, cool. We're, uh, we're going to go without commentary just for a couple of minutes, and we will be back. So do not go anywhere, and thank you very much for tuning in.
just click that button right there, the microphone.
All right, all right. Yep. All right, everybody. We are back live, and I am here with Mr. Dart Daddy himself. Patrick McGinnis is going to sit in. So uh, we get to watch our wife throw. Yeah, we get to, we get to watch our wife throw. So uh, this is going to be uh, Jimmy and Annie against Lori Simpkins and my beautiful, beautiful wife. Look at yes. her. Look I at know, her. look at her. She's, She's majestic. Gorgeous. I know. Just majestic. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she gives a hell of a haircut. She does. And uh, if anybody needs their haircut, Evelyn will gladly. She, she will. Does. She's great. She does. Patrick yeah, drives all the way to Sunbury. Yes. So uh, if you guys are on the stream, uh, make sure that you... Uh, like and share and follow us. Um, we're trying desperately to get to 500 followers. Um, once we hit 500 followers, we're going to do a sweet giveaway, a dart accessory pack. I think it's a signed picture of me, isn't it? Oh, it should be. Probably Topless. Should, yeah. Preferably. Yes, yes. Good dad bod out there. Yeah. And the dad bod is in now. Yeah, it, it is definitely in. I know, because I also have Speaking a dad bod. Speaking of dad bod, your wife loves this. Here we are. How nervous do you think she is? I don't think she's very nervous. You know what she needs? She needs, like, Tuesday night, like, you screaming behind her. That's what like she you're needs. A, you're a complete, utter letdown, and you have to walk home. <laughs> you have to walk. You're walking home. That is true. So Good, we, solid fear motivation. Yeah. I've, you know, negative reinforcement, that is yeah. my, that's my yeah. forte. Fear-based learning is fantastic. <laughs> so we got Jimmy popping in with a trip 20 to get himself started and just wires that triple one. He loves those trip 20s. He does love he the trip 20s. He hates bullseyes, apparently. Yes, but he does hit those trip 20s. He does. As long as you can hit them, it works. Your well, wife's team's down. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't even know who was on. I don't even know what teams are who. I'm the worst announcer ever. You're not a bad announcer. There's Lori. There you uh, go, in the double. Ah, uh, just flighted herself out of that low ton, but knocks 83 points off the score. That's going to bring up Annie. Um, this is one to watch for, this Annie. This Annie Nim, she's one to watch for. She uh, she hasn't been playing long, but she has made her mark here, she loves, especially. She loves the left side triple ring. She, she is so into she'll, that. She'll, she'll smoke 11s and 14s all day long. All day. And like I said, if, as long as you hit it, I don't care what. Yep. No one, just hit the board. Yep, as long as you hit the board, that's all that matters. Look at that focus and concentration. It is, it is. She I don't know. Her, she, she puts her head down just like you. After I know. It. <laughs> she learned everything she knows from me. She says far less cuss words, though, after missing a bullseye. Oh, yeah. Annie got married, so she's Annie Bates now. But I only called her that for 20 years, so it's a little hard to make <laughs> a switch. Whatever. It's your stream. You can call it. Yeah, whatever. Now. Yeah. Wow, Patrick, turn the volume down on your yeah, phone. Yeah, we're working on it. Okay, rookie. <laughs> this is your dark nemesis here, isn't it? You know, Lori and I go back and forth. She did. You're, a, like, you're like partners slash nemesis. Yes, she did smoke me though in our in our soft open. She did smoke me. Happens. She threw hot fire darts. Hot fire darts. I, it was it was fun to watch. It was tough, like you know. You were making mixed drinks while trying to serve throw some darts at the same time. It's tough being a bar manager. Yeah, it, it you know it's a, it's the dream though. I uh, I I love what I do. I wouldn't want it any other way. Yeah. Well, you do. I mean, where you've grown this place in the last 18 months is insane. Well, so much so that we're adding two more boards. That's what I heard. That's the rumor. September first. I was just gonna say so. September. Okay, so Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. I love it. I love it. We Cannot are, wait. We are adding two more boards to bring our dart board total to eight dart Amazing. boards. Um, and we need every bit of them we do. because we are rocking and rolling. So we got Jimmy coming up to the board. He goes 19th this he, time. He was just going as 19th. soon as we start to slap a consistency <laughs> to him. <laughs> He basically throws it completely out the window. And then goes full on the last, the last start. All right. So basically, I know nothing about Jimmy, if you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay. So we got big Lori coming up. And I know Lori's got a, a killer round just waiting in the chamber to come out. Oh, and she that's just wired herself good. out of that bullseye. She went high, high, and then clipped that plate. Annie B. 
Bates coming up to the line. She does like she does like the left side of the board. Um, but you know what? When she starts hitting those 19s, those 16s. So there, look at my, that's, there's, there's your wife. There's our wife. Can't wait for your reception. It's coming soon. It is coming soon. Less than a month? Less than a month, yes. Um, it's going to be a good time. So we've been married a year, but we haven't had a wedding reception, so we are going to do that. So I'm, I'm really glad you held off on the reception so that I could be invited. Yeah, I need you to be there. Yeah, you really did a same. great job of this. So Jimmy does have an out here, and he did go that trip 20. Smart move. you got to try for it, especially with them not on an out. Yeah, not on an out. They've got at least three before they get to an out. So 87 is a great leave. It's one of my favorite outs. So Lori can get him down to an out with just a low ton here. There's the first, first one. And one more. And she's just not under. Miss. Not about miss. Still an out, though. That's still what, out, yeah. three trip 17s, right? <laughs> if you go that route. Well, it's, <laughs> no, three trip 17, yeah. I mean. 19 bull here. Oh, trip 14 out. Let's see. Oh, oh man. She just loves there. It. She was just That's there. It. She loves that left side. She does. And that trip 14, I've seen her take that out 100 times. My wife also likes the left side of the board and the right side. <laughs> <laughs> Down below, up above. Yeah, up above, anywhere. So this, I'll see. Uh, what would you do here? Did you do 11:20? So if it's open I, out, I'm throwing, so. I'm throwing at anything on the bottom, that bottom four portion. So seven nine, seven nineteen, three seventeen. Just in case I miss somewhere, it still leaves me an option. Ugh. Yeah. And then you get yourself yes. there, and he does hit it with the three. So he takes that out. You can never question strategy as long as they take it out. Yep, and that's the thing. But, yeah, so, I mean, when you have to have an odd in those situations, um, I almost always go with that lower part of the board um, just because if you miss left or right on an 18, you're left with a three or seven. And that's something that I've been learning uh, with playing steel chip as well. Yeah. Is, uh, is making sure that when you have, you know, when you're on an odd, to make sure that you hit an odd. Yeah, like huge. You know, one dart in hand, um, you know, let's say you have two darts in hand with a 56. You know, you want to go with that 10-6 wire. Six leaves you a double bowl. Ten leaves you a 40, or at least you know, somewhere down the line. So it's it's huge in that standpoint. You know, you want to give yourself an option. You, you have to kind of focus or say, play off of nerves. Right. Because as soon as you, you think in a perfect world in your basement, then... You can hit everything, but as soon as I'll you get nervy, what, I never throw better darts than I do at home on my grand board. I'll tell you that. But and that's the big problem too is that, you know p people are comfortable with that, and then they get into a. I mean, we were just so now that we're playing soft. We were in a great debate last night about like a 109 or or a 120. Do you go bowl 20 bowl or do you go bowl bowl 20? And we've been debating this forever because. For you know, somebody like me, I would go bowl 20 bowl uh, because if I go bowl bowl, I will hit the triple 20 100% of the time yeah. when it's, I don't need it. And so the so. argument amongst the table we were with was if you're that good and you can hit a bullseye, you should be able to hit a fat 20. Oh, my wife with a big four. I love the fact that she just nonchalantly threw off yeah, and just, said, I only need two darts. Yeah, She's what like, a meme -er. I'm so good, I don't even need three darts. Yep, that's the truth. And she's going to stay on those 16s. Let's see if she can hit that trip. Oh, she was right there just off, but she does close the 16, so that gives them an open house. So we got Lori coming up to the line. Let's see if she's going to go points or if she'll try to close those 16s. She's just going to move on down the line. Oh, and a big four mark from Lori as well. That's a big thing that I think we don't, not enough people stress, and especially in random blind draws, like just throw out the number you're comfortable with, especially yep. in cricket. Yep. I don't care what you hit. Just give me three marks. Yep. <laughs> you give me three marks, we're going to be good every single time. Absolutely. So you're going to see Jimmy throwing at those 16s. He's going to try and get them some points on the board. Uh, you got Lori and Evelyn have two houses closed. 
um, and they don't seem to be having much of an issue hitting those triples with a four and a three average on the board right now for both of them. So let's see what direction she's gonna go in. If it were me, that's exactly what I would have told her to do. Yeah. Keep them at 16. Oh, oh and she gets a point all on the board. All three of them count. Yeah, yeah I mean, keep them keep at 16. Because you know that they're going to be worried about points. So they're going to yep. stay there. They can't close any other numbers. And you just chip away at the board away from them. Yep. You take and everything you, away but those 16s. And you just have confidence that you're going to hit more other numbers than they're going to hit 16s. And, and the thing is, too, you have to think about every 18 or 17 or 20 that you hit or 19 is worth two 16s. Right. So you know, you're you got, going two for one with every right. dart. Yep. Because you got 32. 36, double 18, 36, yep. double 16, yeah. 32. Yep. And that's the big thing with, you know, especially in the, in the cricket level with scoring, is when you're up on a number on them, you know, you hit an 18, they're on 16s, and now they need two for every 18 that you hit. Right. On a big triple 18 yep. from Jimmy. And he steals those 18s right out from under them. But they do still have open 20s and open 19s. So we'll see uh, with the point lead. They got a 33 point lead. I would assume Evelyn will try to close those 18s. Yeah, that's the move. Now, does she go points here? No, or no, no. You got I would stay you got on you. those. And she does. She isn't yeah. able to capitalize, but, but she did make yeah, the right choice. That's a smart move. That was the smart move. So we have Annie Bates coming up to the line here, and she is is going for points there. And she manages two marks on the 19s. So, so you know, on the other end of that, slowly chipping away at the board, um, you know, goes... And this is one of the things that happens when you get an early lead like this. You get a little too relaxed. And uh, say trip, trip on both sides. Oh, yeah. man. So, and just like that, you know. It's, and it's right on, I mean, right yeah. on the inside of those wires, too. So a half an inch put either way. Green, put green creeps in, and all you needed there was a fat 18. Right. And I, I'm guilty of that as well. Uh -huh. We're all I, are. We all are. Because, you know, I always have in my head, you know, you can't lose a cricket game with a point lead. And Jimmy steals the lead away and can close both houses with these darts. Let's see what he does here. Oh. Oh. And just like that, the turn tables. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 amazing how quickly things flipped. Like, this game was done and lost for them. Four 18, rounds yeah, ago, 18, yeah, 18, 20 darts ago. Close that 18. Uh, right there, but that was a smart move. Three yeah. at the 20, that was the smartest move. So, but, you know, obviously, again... And a single 20. Oh, oh no, good. that looked real good. That looked real good. I thought that looked in, but the board never lies, so. <clears throat> As they say in soft tip. <coughs> yeah. Us original uh, steel tippers have really struggled with that theory. There's a double 20 for Lori that Simpkins. Helps. That's a big help. That's a huge But Jimmy's been on fire lately, so. Yes. Jimmy's on the board with a three. And this is what you want to get yourself away from, which is a solid three dart close. So right. it's, it's two 18s and a single 20. Puts him in a point lead. Well, he missed the first one. And the second. So, so if I'm he... here with two numbers up, I take the 20. Even though you're down on points, I take the 20. Yep. And you force the person behind you. To then this make is a where decision. You're sort right. of a, a reversal in the strategy comes into play is take that 20 there. Force the people behind you to have to hit numbers to close. Right. Because what that does here is leave the door open for Evelyn to hit a triple <laughs> exactly. 20 and close that 18. Almost like I know what I'm talking about. Oh, talking about just it. on the wire right there. But she does hit a big triple 20. And that is going to buy them some time here to get that 18 closed. With a trip 16, a double 16, and a double 16. Annie is And that on is a fire. seven mark on the 16s to steal the point lead back. She heard you kept mispronouncing her last name, and now she's fired yeah, up. Yeah, she's fired up. She did. 
So uh, Lori can take the point lead back here with. Let's get one more of those. And she does, and they take the point lead right back with 40 points on the board. But again, so now you're at a, a two dart close. Right. And Jimmy can do single, single. Single, single. Single, no, single. No, will he go single, single is the question. Oh, right. went with the trip and hits two. Ugh. I still take the 20 at this point. Yep, yep. you're right. Because they're only up uh, 15 points. Yeah. So that puts a little bit of added pressure on my beautiful wife. Well, and, and what it forces, it essentially forces the person behind you to have to hit a four mark to put you in any kind of trouble. Right. And knowing if she doesn't, then all you need is one 18 or 16 to put you back in the point lead. And she was going, she went to the bottom half yeah. of the board to open up another house. And when you, when you flip that pressure, and that's all that is right there, is, is it's flip pressure. And so now they have to hit that. Knowing the person behind him is, yeah, so now the point lead's taken. And Annie yeah, yeah, yeah. right there with a huge five mark, taking the point lead and stealing the 17s mm -hmm. out from under Evelyn and Lori. So that is going to leave 16, 15s as their only option to catch back up. And Lori with a big trip 15 and steals the point lead right back with 30 points. So that's going to bring Jimmy up. Uh, they do have three open houses, so he has his pick of where to score his points here. Um, if it were me, I like to stay on the same half of the board I'm at, so if it were me, I'd go trip 17 and then take a shot at the 15s. 100%, 100%. But we'll see what Jimmy does here. And he goes straight for the 15s. He stays there. And he does go for points on his yeah. last dart, but when you throw yourself off that way... I mean, you, get, you get flustered with those yep. first two darts you miss. And that's why, like, I'm a huge advocate of put that first dart in the 17. Absolutely. Put it in the 17, even if it's fat. Even if it doesn't give you the lead, put it in 17. Um, in this situation, it would have given the lead. And then it just takes some pressure off you. See? And See? there is my wife... Yeah. Right now, averaging a 2.43, I am so proud. She's going to be the I, best starter in the house in soon. In the house. I am so proud. But I'm telling you what, she is, Annie is murdering those 16s. Annie's shooting and a she is, And she has taken the point lead right back and takes a shot at those triple 15s. She ain't afraid of nobody. With only a five-point lead and taking a hero dart, which is my favorite kind of dart, <laughs> as you know. As you know, the hero dart you is my favorite. You love hero darts. Uh, Lori unable to capitalize there. but uh, So that's going to bring Jimmy up with a clear shot at closing those 15s. Mm -hmm. As he goes straight at him, he does. And he hits that triple two. Goes high for the single 10. And does go points on that, but again, on that last start, you miss those first two. And again, two. it goes back to you start putting so much pressure on yourself. So that's now six darts that he's had a chance to, even if it's singles, on four of those six. Right. Four of those six, 16s is 64 more points. Absolutely. She steals that point lead back, stay there. And she does stay there, but is unable to capitalize on that last start. But you got big Annie Bates with a 3-1-4 on right. the board. She is right now throwing the highest average. And there is, there <laughs> it is right there. Girl's money. Wow, that is, she is throwing fire. So that is uh, taking the point lead and taking away the 15s from Lori and Evelyn. Now, Lori here will probably go straight at those bullseyes so this is this is sort of the, the evening thing this is where we, you get to see who's good or not um, and oftentimes with no confidence on the ball I always tell our partner just literally throw 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 at points 
You can never have too many points. So let's flip over here to the bullseye cam. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at that. You. So he does miss the first two. Does he go points? He did not. He went straight back at the bull. All these big blue and green flashing lights. I know. It's fancy. Yeah, and, it's, it and, it's, and it does all kinds of cool things. I'll show you. So my wife, bullseyes are not the strongest suit that she has, uh, but she has been practicing with those bullseyes at home. Um, because she gets beat at home. So, uh, <laughs> so I am going to switch to the bull cam because I do believe that Annie is more than capable of taking this out, even with the two darts she has in her hand. So she <laughs> sinks that double bull. Oh, oh and she just outside, misses that last start. She's so much better. Oh, Anthony is here. I was going to say, she's so much better when Anthony's not here. I believe you're being summoned <laughs> to a Am dart I, Oh, i got to throw darts now. You're All right. Going. So let's Love you, people. I love you. Good luck to you, sir. Thanks. Hopefully, I can win so I end up back on the stream. Yeah, would love to have you. Thank you for sitting with me. Good luck. All right, so I'm going to swap over to this bull cam. Jimmy can win it here with a single bullseye. And he is high on the first, low on the second. So let's see if he's able to split that difference and close out this game. And he is. But, I mean, big numbers at the bottom for Annie Bates with a 3.11. Um, I cannot sing enough praises about Annie. Um, Annie used to be a pool player. Um, and her and her husband, Anthony, have uh, been pool players here at Cushions for years and years. Um, I was able to uh, say to Annie and Anthony, hey, you know, you guys been playing pool for a while. You're looking for a switch. Why don't you switch on over to darts? Um, so they decided to give it a go, and, and in just two sessions, Annie has gone from never throwing a dart before to being able to throw those kinds of numbers, and it is incredible. Um, and I, I cannot stress enough how proud I am of her. Um, so uh, actually, as a matter of fact, Annie... So I'm actually going to bring Annie on for just a second. Um, I was just singing your praises on the stream. Um, so um, this is a person that I want you guys to watch out for because um, I would I would say that you know in the future you're going to see some great things from her. And I just wanted to bring her on for a second so she could introduce herself. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but you finished that game with a 3.11. Oh my gosh, are you serious? That's yes, probably I am. my highest yet. Um, and uh, uh, I, I wanted to bring you on so that you could say hello. And, uh, Hi, everyone. And, uh, you know, keep going. Yes, and uh, Mike Hansen says, okay, Annie, I see you. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. You know, you were an inspiration to me. You told me to give darts a try. That's I gave what? it a try. It's and something you, that I'm not super terrible at. No, I want to get better. You are doing a great job. I'm very you know, proud the, of you. The dream is to just to <laughs> be a good dart player so that when everyone hears my name, they're like, oh, she's good. Oh, so. she's good. And you're getting there. And you're getting there. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, but good luck for you the Thank rest you. of the time. Thank you. Thanks for coming on for a second. Absolutely. So it does look like we've got uh, Dart Daddy coming up on the streaming board. Um, I know, Greg, I know, uh, I just got to sit next to him that whole time, so it was, you know, like being in the presence of a celebrity, um, so it looks like we're going to have, uh, Patrick and Mark up on, on board six, it looks like we're going to have Patrick and Mark up, um, and it looks like... They are going to go up against Jim Simpkins and Danny. Uh, Danny is here from Chicago. Uh, we just had the uh, Bull Shooter World Finals in Chicago. That was on Patrick's big head, though, so it's all messed up.
Thank so, you. Lori is back. Hello, Lori. Hi, Jess. I'm so glad that match is over. Well, we were, you know, you guys were doing a good job. And my wife. Your wife threw amazing. Amazing. Annie threw amazing. Annie threw amazing. And that's why I was just talking about Annie. Yeah. Um, and how far she's come in just a short amount of time. Sure. And, and my wife as well. Yeah. Um, and I was able to sit with Patrick for that entire match. So, that's Patrick awesome. was able to kind of sit down with us a little bit. Um, so it looks like we've got uh, your husband and Danny coming up on the streaming board uh, playing against Patrick and Mark. Okay. Um, so we should be in for some good darts yes. coming up on this board. Um, and uh, obviously all the all the fans are fangirling in the chat over <laughs> Dart Daddy Patrick McGinnis. <laughs> um, Who didn't see that coming, right? I, I certainly didn't. I mean, he... <laughs> I've spent the last six months doing everything I can to make Patrick famous, and so far it's been working. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like they are going to diddle here. So let's pop on over to the bullseye cam so we can watch this diddle. I'm not sure if this is warm-up. It is. It's just warm-up here. So we got Jim Simpkins, and... Uh, and Danny, like I said, Danny's in from Chicago. Uh, this is his last night here in town, and he chose to come and play in the blind draw, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh, we got Steve Payne in the chat. Hey, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> With Lori and I are here. Uh, we're getting ready to commentate this match, um, at least until Lori gets called to a board. Oh, no, Lori won't be called to a board. <laughs> Lori was two and out tonight. Oh, you guys are done. Yes, I Evelyn didn't realize. So well. her, you were talking about her and Annie, and I just want to say you can really tell how they've grown in such a short amount of time. I, it really yeah. is. Uh, you know, to Great see to see, to see my, my wife up there and, uh, you know, hitting numbers and closing things out and, yes. and, and taking her time, about getting it. excited. Yes. It's just, it really is, yeah. it's rewarding for me. Sure. Yeah. Because uh, she really has been practicing a lot and has really been putting the work in and putting the time in. And it's showing, for sure. Um, oh, hey, Jess Coburn. I'm staring at the back of you, <laughs> but you are also watching the stream. Where was the diddle? Patrick won. Patrick wins the diddle, so we're going to go... We're in for a treat. Yes, this is going to be. This is going to be a great match. We're going to see some good darts. Here we go. So here we go, Patrick, to open up. Boom. And a, and a big, big hat trick to open for Patrick, of course. Uh -huh. Because he's so good at darts, I, I can't even I explain how good he is at darts. We just cannot compete, Jess. What's that? We just cannot compete. No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. So it is hard to follow up a Hattie. Um, so let's bring Mark up to the line. We're going to see... Mark, you know, Mark is another one. He's been in here every day practicing with Angie May, who is another one to watch out for. Um, so he's able to knock 66 points off. So with the 150 and the 66, I mean, that's 200 points in the yes. first round. So we got big Jim Simpkins coming up to the line. And Jim's style of throwing is very similar to mine. Yes, it is. He's been critiqued many times, but he's been doing the same throw for over 20 years, and yep. it works for him. Let's see here. Oh, and he biffs his perfect game. He biffs his perfect game, but still throwing a 43.33 average and already uh, seeing uh, will be the first team to an out regardless of the next two turns. But you have Danny coming up with a big 117, knocking some more of those points off the board. Um, so basically, whatever Mark hits, he's going to leave an out for Patrick because um, it is open out. Sure. Um, oh, the big fish. And leaves a perfect 150. out. 150 for Patrick. Yes, 150 to open. 150 to close. And let's see what Big Jim can do here. 
At this point, all Jimmy can do is try to knock some points off that score. And he does. He does. He's able to knock 44 points off the score. I am switching to the bullseye cam. I am confident that Patrick can hit this out. I am not saying that he will, but he is more than capable. He knocks the first. Oh, and he biffs the second. But he does still finish with a low ton. Uh, knocks 108 and leaves Mark with a triple 14 to go out. So uh, again, uh, Danny here uh, is able to knock some points off that score. Um, you know, 01 is a waiting game. Um, you know, you you might think that you have it, and it can come back, come back either way. Uh, but Mark up to the board here, uh, trying to take out this triple 14. Now I'm not sure if he knows his math. Um, he didn't, so. But he does give himself an out. He's got a single 17. And he leaves Patrick with a single two, which like I said, is easy to bust on no matter which way you slice it. So uh, if Jimmy can knock himself down to an out here, and he's going trip 20, which is, and he ends up hitting that trip 18 and leaves a 150. So we've got uh, <coughs> Patrick going for the single two, which is a very bustable number. But he hits it dead center in the fat. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> I love these little buttons. Um, so that's going to bring us up to cricket. Um, this also should be a great game. Um, all of these people are very, very capable of hitting some big marks in cricket. <clears throat> I'm sure Jess has mentioned everybody, but again, we just want to say thank you for all the support, for all the views, for all the likes and shares and loves, it's all the comments. We just really appreciate everyone. Absolutely. Danny able to find a big triple with his last start. But yes, we we are we are overwhelmed with the amount of support that we have been getting. So um, and Patrick is able to take the point lead with a five mark. Uh, he did take a stab at those twenties and was able to hit the single. But I've watched Jimmy hit these 20s like nobody's business. So He's worked really hard on his 20s. He's been going really well. And he does get one and takes the point lead by one yeah. point. He's a little off tonight, but he's been throwing really, really well. <clears throat> he's also been putting a lot of work in. Yes. And that's and I've been noticing that. I mean, really, all of us have. Yes. Um, you know, and to be able to um, see yes. in real time the amount of progress that all of these mm -hmm. people have made just in the last six, seven months. Yes. I mean, the two of us included. It's amazing um, to watch. You know, it it's is. it's really been... Uh, Which is the whole point of the storm. Right, absolutely. Yes. And we cannot stress that enough that, yes. you know, this... And he goes, he does, he, he takes a big lead with 80 points on the board. Um, but that... That's very, very much what the whole point of us doing this yes. is to bring exposure mm -hmm. to people that deserve the exposure. Um, you know, and, and some people say, oh, I'm not good enough to play on a stream. We want everybody to feel good enough to play on a stream. Yes. And Patrick, with a big wow. five mark, yeah. is able to steal the point lead back on those 19s with 95 points. Um, Michelle Cordell is in the chat. Hi, Michelle. Congratulations. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations, Michelle. Thanks for watching. Absolutely. We also have Nancy Caves in the chat as Hi, well. Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. Joining, yeah. Thanks for joining. And uh, let's see who else we got in here. Mary Beth and uh, Jerry Porter, Wags. Thank you all. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Right now we've, we've got uh, a decent amount of people watching right now. Well, we hope you guys can see the difference from when Jess and I were on earlier. We made some more adjustments, and we're going to continue to make adjustments, but this is much clearer, I would think. I agree. agree. Yeah. It's clearer for us, too, watching Absolutely. it. It's, uh, 
and that's a big trip 20 for Danny and then down on those 19s and he just wires that triple but he was right there um, I mean and if you you notice down there we've got the I mean it's fairly even you know you got the five, a five and a point five and a three six seven and a point five um, and Patrick is able to get one 19 in there certainly not the the five marks we've been seeing from Patrick but not everybody's perfect that's right and you notice Patrick is is one of the better darters that we have here tonight and that's a prime example of even the big dogs can miss their shots every once in a while Absolutely. and that's definitely something to keep in mind uh, and Jimmy able to close those 19s with the point lead So that's gonna force uh, Patrick and Mark to open up a second house. Um, Wags, you are absolutely right. It's one of my favorite things about Patrick is he's nothing if not consistent. <laughs> uh, Mark just outside on those first and last darts but does manage to get a mark on those 18s. Uh, but you got Danny coming up to the line, and a 367 means he's capable of hitting that triple 18, no problem. And he is, he does three fat singles, and he's able to steal those 18s out from under them. That's going to force Patrick to drop down to the 17s. <clears throat> and that's uh, just outside on the right. And he does manage to get two. But at this point, you know, Jimmy's got no pressure on him. He's able to just smooth sail into those 17s and try to steal that house out from under them. And he opens it with a double. And he does close those 17s. And he moves on and takes a shot at those 16s. Um, and he's just, just under the wire. So that's going to force Mark to move on to the 16s, which is a strong suit for Mark. I've seen him in here practicing. So he switched it up. He's going to go to the 15s, and he does manage a mark on those 15s. Danny just with a triple. Danny with a trip 16 and a single 17 to add to their point lead. So that's a big four mark, very, very big four mark. Now it is possible for Pat to hit nine in on those 15s and steal that point lead back. Not able to do it on this turn. Just outside on both those darts, but he does manage a mark on the 15s. But again, no pressure on Jim here to close this out. And he does 15s with his first dart. And his second dart. And he does manage to put 15 more points on the board. So that's going to take Mark here. Is going to be forced to shoot at the bull. He's taking a minute to think about his life choices. <laughs> And he's right there on that first dart and a little further away on the second. But that first dart was, was right where he needed to be. So let's swap over to the bullseye cam because Danny can win it here with three bullseyes. And there is the first. Manages 18 points and a double to close it out. Great shot, Danny. Big dart. That was a big dart, finishing that with a 3.67. So we're going to diddle for the rubber match. Oh, I don't know. That looks like a tie. It is a tie. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Patrick won. Patrick won. The ever-beautiful Lori Chiketti is here. 
She doesn't want me talking about her on the stream, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> Love you, Lori. Love you, Lori Chiquetti. See, nobody can hear us. We have the best spot in the house. We nobody have the can best hear us. Spot. We do. And I'm sure it's been mentioned, but just a huge, huge thank you and shout out to Jason Ives. Absolutely. Everybody tune in to his show Tuesday nights. I believe it's at 8 p.m. The Siege. What an yes. outstanding man and friend. And Great company. Great yes. friend. Um, you know, uh, Jason told us, uh, he, said, uh, he said to us the other day, um, when we were talking, we have a group chat with all of us, um, and he had told us that supporting another person's success does not rob you of your own. Um, and said. and perfectly it's perfectly said, said um, you know, because our, our ultimate goal is the same. Sure. Uh, you know, we want to throw, we want to bring darts to everyone. We want everyone to want to play darts. Yes. We want it to be fun. We want it to be inclusive. We want everybody to feel, to feel special. And welcome. And welcome. So it did look like Danny did win that diddle, but I thought it was Patrick as well. But Patrick wow, opens with Danny a big yes. 115. So they did pick a one. Or he maybe he picked a game. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. I, yeah, I started talking to him. Jim able to, to nail a bullseye with his last start. It was a great last start from Jim. So that's going to bring Mark up. And the great, my favorite thing about 01 is that everything counts. Yes. As long yes. as you don't hit it off the board. But everything counts. Yes. Everything you, you board, hit, and that, look at that, a big triple 18, yes. only two darts, and Mark was able to knock 74 points off. He does need to hit that red button, though, because it did not count his first dart as a miss. Let's see what Danny can do here with his three. He's going to be looking for a big score, obviously, knowing that uh, Patrick's coming up behind him. Mm -hmm. 30 points is 30 points. <laughs> so big daddy Pat up to the line. <laughs> He is wiring those bullseyes, and he did not was did not manage to sink one. That last one looked in, but it was not. It was just outside in that single ten. Uh, so that kind of opens the door here for Jimmy. And Jimmy hits a big shot. And I just have to say, I played Patrick, and I played an open or yeah, it was open end double out split hole. I know what he can do. So <laughs> he's just a little off right now, but he'll get it back together. So he we're didn't have a problem beating the crap no, out of me. No. <laughs> so we're down to just an 18-point ga different game here. So Mark's going to come up to the line, see what kind of damage he can do with his darts here. And Mark did take a stab at those 20s, was able to hit two of them. Floated his third into a single one, but was able to knock those those 41 points off the board. Uh, and he went for that trip 20 on his last start, manages a single. That's back-to-back -back 30 points for Danny. Oh, and he flighted himself out, but he manages to knock 74 points off and leaves a an out. It's a big out, but it is an out. It's a it's very doable. And a big double bowl for Jimmy there at the end. Not able to leave an out, but 154 is a big ask for uh, a new dart player. It is it is doable, not now, but it is doable. So big, a big mark, a big round here from Danny. 
can leave a very doable out for Jimmy on his next turn. Also still an out, but a big ask. Big ask there on that last start. So Patrick, I'm assuming here is gonna go bull bull, double 14. And he does miss that bullseye. Misses both bullseyes. Can he hit the win? He does. He manages to get the last bullseye. He must think he's playing Shea. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to Shea Cole. Yes. Patrick's one kryptonite. Of our as well. <laughs> Patrick's kryptonite. I love watching Patrick lose to Shea Cole. It's one of my favorite days of the week when they play against each other. So Jimmy manages to leave a nice out. Bull, bull, double 18 for Danny if he gets a crack at it. So Mark here is going to go up. I'm assuming Mark's just going to throw a dart, and what it hits, he's going to go from there. And that leaves him a double 17. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, and he just wires it on the outside, but does leave Patrick's favorite out, a double 16. And that's if he gets a shot at it. Danny is more than capable of taking this out. Oh, and he's unable to, to hit the big trip or the bullseye. So let's see if Dart Daddy can live up to his reputation by hitting the 16. And he does hit the single. And he's able to close it out. So that will mean that Patrick and Mark are moving on in the bracket and Danny and Jim are going to the second chance side. So, uh, yay! Good job, everybody. All right, so uh, uh, we're going to take a short break, and we will be back with you as soon as we get our next match up on the board. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and joining the storm tonight.
All right. Welcome back, everybody. We are back. We are live. Uh, we got a good match coming up for you. Um, we have Jason Ives. We have Jason Ives and Paco against Tommy Guns and Brian McCricker. Uh, this is going to be a tasty, tasty match to watch. Um, it's gonna, this is going to be a heavy match, I think. Uh, so Lori and I are here. We're back. We are live, live, live here at the Storm. Uh, the Storm coming to you live from Cushions, Billiards, and Lounge. Uh, make sure that you uh, like, share, and follow the stream. Um, we are trying to get to 500 followers. Uh, so we can do a darts accessory package giveaway. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, make sure that you're liking, you're sharing, and you're following. Um, we do appreciate all the likes, all the shares, all the follows, every uh, every bit of support that we're getting. So it looks like we are diddling here. So let's switch on over to the bull board. And that looks like Tommy's going to get that. Excited to see what this match brings. I am as well, because <laughs> um, we've got uh, we've got uh, Indiana to the points, Indy to the points, streaming the siege versus Tommy and the Storm. So we'll we'll see. Uh, Paco's going to start us off here, and he's going to open up with a big 67. So that is, uh, that's a big open. So we got Tommy coming up to the line. It's the first darts we've seen from Tommy today. Let's see what Tommy can do. Wow, that was interesting. It's interesting the way that dart fell into the board there. And he does manage a pull. He does manage 81 points. And we got Jason coming up to the line. And Jason has been, has been throwing. Jason has been thrown well today. That's that commentator's curse I keep yes, hearing about. Yes. <laughs> he opens up with a 32. So we got Brian McCrickard. Uh, Brian McCrickard is my gold doubles partner this yes. fall. Yes. Um, I'm taking the leap in uh, into trying out the gold division, um, which you just finished yes, uh, your first gold singles mm -hmm. session. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to uh, to playing gold doubles in the fall with Brian. And I'm looking forward to playing against you guys. Yes, yeah, so you're playing yeah. with uh, Bloomer. Yeah, yes. you're doing gold doubles. Tom Bloom and Jacob um, Marysville. And then uh, Lori and I are both also uh, joining the Women's Masters League, uh, a second go round. Um, so all you ladies out there that are interested in improving your dark game, that is a big low ton from Tommy with 100 points. Hits that triple on the last That's dart. A nice shot. Uh, but make sure uh, that you get yourself signed up for the Schaefer Entertainment Fall Dart Leagues. Um, there is a lot of fun and a big low ton from Jay. That's back-to-back -back low tons on the board. Uh, 117 for Jason, making it a two-point game. Uh, but uh, make sure that you're getting yourself signed up for leagues. Um, the only way that you're going to get better is... Oh, just misses. The only way that you're going to get better uh, with your game is by joining some leagues, um, supporting Schaefer, mm -hmm. um, get yourself involved. And that Women's Master League, I have to say, it was it was outstanding. It was fun. It was competitive. Yeah, it was great. All um, of us grew from that league. It's well, in that in that format too, the, yes. the uh, double out split bowl. Yes. Um, you know, that's a whole other game. It forces you to make a lot of different decisions than sure. you would. And Tommy can take this game out with a trip 19. Oh, oh. and just under the wire leaves yes, a 38 was. out. So Jason. All he can do here is knock some points off the score. And he does Thanks just that. Him. Applies a little bit of pressure to Brian with a big 116. So, uh, it's I'm anyone's game right now. I think Brian will go straight at that double 19. Yes, I do too. And he hits a single and he closes it out. Um, and those are some big numbers there at the bottom, mm -hmm. folks. I would tell you what they are, but Brian's in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there was uh, there was uh, some some high twenties, low thirties. So we're gonna move on to cricket here. Jason's gonna start us out. Uh, 
That's a big four mark open for Jason Ives. Uh, it steals those 20s and puts 20 points up on the board. So we've got Brian up. Brian is another one that I think has an interesting throw. He does, yeah. He uh, it's almost it's almost a reach throw. Yes. Um, and and I've tried several times uh -huh. to mimic Brian's throw. Yes. Um, and it has never worked for me. <laughs> but you know, my throw doesn't work for anybody else sure. either. So. Yeah. I've had many people say, you know, you throw so fast, but I've been doing that for over 20 years and it works. So it's just whatever you're comfortable with. Right. What works for you. And he's going to stay with those 16s, and he and he manages to close those 16s and, and steal a second house. Um, so you got Jason and Paco with the 20s. You got Tommy and Brian with the 16s. We'll see what Jason does here. And he's going to stick with those 19s. And he manages to knock two of them off the board. So that's going to open the door here for Brian. Not happy with that first dart. It's a little high, but he does manage to close those 19s. Knocks some points up on the board. And what goes for the close on the 20s? If you guys have any suggestions, don't ever hesitate to put them in the chat, send us messages. Uh, text us whatever we're always looking for uh, you know match ideas yep. um, events that we can stream and we're just make we're working just to make it as the best we can right and we are we are looking for suggestions for fun uh, matches that we can host um, we can put you on the stream um, we are we are booked yep. um, up for until the January. up until January right now at this point <coughs> but uh, once the new year hits, we'll have lots of things open. Yes, lots, lots of, of spots, mm -hmm. lots of uh, spots open. And events, different events that we're going to stream. So yeah, don't hesitate. Just keep watching. Don't hesitate to reach out. Um, but try not to get too frustrated if we tell you that it's going to be a little bit, bit of time out. It will be at first, but we will get settled in, and we will get more and more dates open. Yep. Just need you to bear it. We're. This yeah. is only our second live stream yes. that we've done um, with the soft launch that we did on August 13th. Um, and uh, this is not uh, technically a storm e event. Yes. Um, yes. This is, uh, a, again, another test. Um, just kind of trying to get a feel for things. And now uh, Tommy and Brian have just made their way down the board. And Tommy, with a big trip 18, to steal the point lead away. So that leaves Jason's only option being the 15s here. And he opens with a trip and hits a single and another triple and steals that point lead right back with a seven mark or six mark. No, seven, I was right. The big seven mark there. I've always said darts, it's not over till the last dart is thrown. It's absolutely correct. Does he go for those 15s? He did take a shot at those 15s. Uh, he was able to take that point lead back by six points. So Paco hoping to do some damage on those 15s and nails that triple. <laughs> nails that triple right in the center with his second dart. So Paco's another one that's come far. He really has come, come a yeah. long way in a short amount of time. But like I said, I was saying earlier that these guys are here every day yeah. and putting in the work and putting in the practice. It's really um, showing. And it is showing. And for me, and I'm sure Dust would agree too, that, to me, that's what it's all about. I just love watching people grow. I love helping other people. I love getting advice from whether it's a new daughter or, a, you know, a seasoned Absolutely. or a veteran. It's, I just, just to watch somebody when they throw their very first tournament, or league, and then just the growth in just such a short amount of time, it's its really amazing to watch. Yeah, it's absolutely, it really is. It's uh, its really what it's about. Yes. Big double bowl for Brian McCricker. 
and two. He hits, wow. manages Big four time. bullseyes on that turn. Kind of closes the gap on that point lead. Paco does have winning darts in his hand. If he can close it out, he is unable to do so. He does hit a triple 19. <laughs> Those are my favorite triples, the ones you don't need. And they're right, always. They're always. the easiest <laughs> ones to hit. So you got Tommy at the line with a 325, a 360, a 320. That's some good. And there it is, and that is it. Well done, guys. And that is a that was a great match. Well done. Um, and with a 280, Tommy is able to take that game. So uh, Columbus takes it. Yes, Columbus takes it. Takes it, it from Indy. Yes. Uh. So that was a that was a great match. There was yeah. some great numbers, yeah. high high O one numbers, high cricket numbers. Yes, it was uh, a great match to watch. Very fun, fun match to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, uh, make sure that you're uh, you're liking, following, sharing the stream. Um, we want to try and get ourselves out there as much as possible. And, tell, um, and everyone, reach out to Jess. Give her a shout out. She's just dead amazing <laughs> this whole street. <laughs> I'm on the other hand still learning. Jess is doing great. She really, really is. I have always, I've always said I have a face for radio. You do. Bye, kid. Thank be you. Good. We're gonna take a uh, short break. We'll be back in just one second. Sorry about that. Um, our good friend Jason is uh, about to take his trek back to yes. Indy. You guys be good. Jason, Safe thank you travel, so much. Um, and once again, guys, make sure that you're showing your support for Indy to the Point streaming. Yes. Um, and Jason Ives, the Siege. Um, you know, uh, we are owe them a debt of gratitude yes. for sure. Um, you know, they he, he met us here. He made the three-hour trip from Indianapolis mm -hmm. to come here this afternoon um, and help us get everything set up and ready. He taught us how to use the program the correct way. Yes. Um, you know, and we, at this point, ha are leaving today with much more knowledge than we had yes. when we got here. And he's he's been in contact for weeks, just really giving us lots of advice, but also just encouragement. Absolutely. A, a lot of encouragement and and that's really that's yeah. what it's all about, man. We we want we want to encourage, encourage, encourage. Yes. We want everyone to feel, you know, like they are capable of right. doing great things. Mm -hmm. So uh, at this point, I think we're just waiting for a match on the stream board. Um, so uh, make sure that you're liking, sharing, following the stream. Um, we'll be back in just a few, um, and uh, we'll have some more dart action coming right at you. We should be getting down to the nitty gritty. Yes, hang let in me, there, guys. Uh, hang in with us. Let me check the bracket real quick here and see where we're at as far as matches go. Um, so we are... We have a hot seat match uh, that will be coming to you in just a few minutes. Uh, we need the second chance bracket uh, to have a chance to catch up with the winner side. So on the winner side, we have uh, Steve Nance and Kylie uh, waiting to play uh, Sal and Angie May, and that's a name you're gonna you're gonna be hearing a lot of. Angie May. Uh, is doing work. Um, so that is gonna be your hot seat match. Um, uh, the second chance bracket, um, we have Annie and Leo going up against Patrick and Mark. Uh, and the winner of that is gonna play Jason Seeger, my fellow MFN darts teammate. 
Shout out to MFN, the company that sponsors Jason Seeger and I. Um, huge, huge shout out to them. Um, and you will see uh, Glenn and Michael are going to be taking Tommy and Brian on. Um, so we are just waiting for those matches to get caught up uh, to get us another match here on board six, the streaming board. So stay tuned and we will be right back with you in just a few. Thanks for watching.
We have a great match coming to you. We've got Steve Nance and Kylie going up against Angie, May, and Sal. This is going to be a banger. This is going to be a good match to watch. Um, the, I'm telling you, Angie May. Uh, outstanding newer darter, outstanding shot. Yep, absolutely. Angie has grown so much in the time I've met her. Um, and I know she's here a lot with you, just practicing and putting time in, and yeah. And she has. Angie Mae's here every day, um, putting in the work, putting in the time. Not every day. I yeah. don't want to say that every day, well, she but puts her time in. she yeah. is here putting in the work um, and is a nightmare on the 19s. An absolute nightmare on the 19s. I think I've on the been 19s. on the other end of that a couple times with her, and... I believe our pink ladies, uh, if I'm thinking correctly, I believe we played her in pink ladies uh, Schaefer League, and I think one night that her and I were battling, and she got me on the 19s. So, yeah. I'm telling you, I mean, if if darts was nothing but 19s, uh -huh. Angie may be the best player in the world. <laughs> yeah, she's grown a lot. So we're getting some warm-ups here. Getting some warm ups here. Um, so, uh, you know, Steve Nance is a great shot. I mean, there's not a whole lot that needs to be said about Nance. Um, Nance is on fire right now, um, has been for quite a while. Um, but if you ask him, he'll tell you he's a nobody and he can't throw down. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> he's, he's okay. Fine. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> you know, and Sal is another one. Um, We've been dragging Sal out to some of these tournaments. Uh, we took him with us to state, Summer Showdown. Uh -huh. um, and that looks like the diddle there, and it looks like Nance has got it. Um, so we're going to we're gonna be coming to you here with a – this is going to be a good match. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a good match. Yeah, it is. Um, so it looks like uh, Nance is going to kick us off here. Um, he's another one that has a very interesting style of throwing. Throw. Mm -hmm. um, and he hits things. And I don't know how he does it, but he does. And he opens up with a big low ton, 110 points. So let's see what kind of answer Sal can give. And again, he's another one. Um, when he finds his stride and he gets into his, into his stroke, he's a tough guy to beat. Um, and he bounces back with a 60 point. Nice bull. Good bull on the last start. So this is going to bring up Kylie. I, I don't know much about Kylie. I've been watching him uh, play and warm up. Um, and uh, I've seen him throw some pretty, pretty good darts. And he does there. He finishes that with a big bull on the end for 71 points. And that's going to bring up the 19 queen. Here's the Angie May. And this is Angie May, the lefty. And she starts off immediately with those 19s. And and that's the route she's going to go yeah. this game. Um, she is, uh, she's, I would I would imagine, to, I would uh, you know, see her lay off of those bullseyes quite a bit. Um, so there's a big bull from Nance. And one more. And he is able to hit the hat trick. 150 points, leaving the big fish finish. Um, all Sal can do here is uh, hope for a big number, and he goes with the bull with his first and with his second, and he answers oh, back nice. with a big hat trick. Yeah. Big hat trick for Kevin Salamone. We got a match here. And this is a match. So he does hit that bull. Oh, and just off on the, on the 20. Uh, but he does leave a finish for Nance, a very finishable finish for yes. someone like Nance. So we have uh, Angie May coming up, and I would imagine, like I said, she will lay off those bowls and she will stick to those 19s. And she manages to hit 25 points off the score, but does not leave a finish. So they've got six darts here from 116, um, not knowing whether or not they're going to need it. So there is bowl. 
And let's see if he can finish it out. And he does. A big shot with a 41.78 for Steve Nance. Wow. Wow. Big, big darts, yes. That is a huge, huge match. Uh, so this is going to be the fun match here. We're going to move on to cricket. Um, and we might actually get a, a shout out to Sean Green with a boom in this match. And Sal's going to open with, a, with three big darts. I mean, closing those 20s and taking that number away. Now, here's the real test here, because if Nance is able to steal those 19s from Angie May, it will get interesting. It will get interesting. And, and he, he does not, do, not it. do it. So that will bring up the 19 queen here. Let's see what Angie does with the 19. And she closes them, and can she hit the trip? And she misses just on the outside, but that does close the 19s down. So that steals those 19s right out from under Steven and Kylie. So Kylie coming up, see if he goes 18s, he does. And able to close them with three singles. Three singles are better than three misses, I'll yes. tell you that much. Yes. So Sal coming up to the board here. Let's see if he'll go points first. He went straight and closed those 18s. And... Oh, and a big six mark for Sal. Big darts. A big six nice mark job, for Sal. Sal. So we've got Nance coming up on the 16s, and he is able to hit the trip. Can he hit another? And he hits a single, but knocks 16 points up on the board. So right now, Nance and Kylie in the lead with 16 points. So let's see what Angie May can do here. She will go 19s first. And she's able to hit, and let's see if she switches over to those 16s. She did take a shot at it, but it was a bit high on those 14s. So, but that's a, that, I would say that's a right decision. Absolutely, I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's only three points, but taking away that 16. Yes. And he is right on that wire and is able to sneak in that triple 16. And he stays there for a big six mark on those 16s. Those big darts there. That is a huge, huge shot. So we've got Sal coming up to the line, throwing a 4.5. Let's see how this will go. Those numbers at the bottom, we've got a 4.5 for Sal, a 4.5 for Kylie, a three for Steve Nance, and a two for Angie May. Uh, and Sal unable to capitalize, but does manage to put 20 points up on the board. So that's going to bring Nance up. And Nance is capable of hitting this shot. So he's going to go back to those 16s. And is able to hit. Big shots there. Five marks there. His skill level is, he's got a very high skill level with her. Yeah, it's very good. Very fun to watch him play. He is. I love watching. Yeah. So Angie May is going to switch on over. And she's going to go for those 17s. And is able to hit four on those 17s for 68 yes. points. 17s equally as lethal for Angie May. Those two sections of the board there. This is a great match to watch. It really is. I mean, and these, and these numbers are They're good. what we've been waiting yes. for today. And he does finish with a trip 16, and that is a hurt dart. So Sal going to come up and try to put some points on the board for him and Angie May on those 17s or those 20s. And he wires the trip 5, trip 1. Let's see if he can sink one in the middle. Is he going to go down? He did, was able to put 17 points on the board. So Nance and Kylie with a hefty point lead. Nance can take a shot at closing those 20s and those 17s. And instead goes 15s. Smart, smart choice. So we got Angie May coming up, and she's going to take a stab at those 17s. I already know it. And she starts with the one. And two, and can she hit the triple? Uh, un unable to hit the triple, but knocks 51 points up on their score. 
again, still with a decent point lead, so Kylie can take a look at closing out the 20s and the 17s. And he is, and will he go 15s or 20s here? And he did close, that was huge darts. So if you look at, take a look at the numbers, 425, 275, 325, 275. Those are great numbers. So Sal Those here is gonna numbers. take a stab at these 15s. And he wires two triple tens. Yeah. Man, that one hurts. <laughs> that one hurts. So Nance comfortable here. He'll go trip 15 and double bowl. And I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Big shots, yes. That was a big shot. And a great match. And a great match. They Nothing but respect great. between these two teams. Yes. So uh, Angie May and Sal are, I believe, let's take a look at the bracket here. So that is for the hot seat. So uh, Nance and Kylie are moving on to the hot seat. Um, Angie May and Sal will move on to the second chance bracket, guaranteed third. Um, so we are. The way they're throwing that don't surprise me. Does not surprise me. That yeah. is the team. In my opinion, that is the team to beat. Yes. Uh, based on what we just saw. Yes. Um, that is going to be the team to beat. Um, and whoever gets back to them for the final has got to beat them twice, twice. and that is going to be that is going to be a difficult thing to do. Um, so once again, guys, give us a like, uh, share the stream, give us a follow. Uh, as soon as we get to 500 followers, we're going to be giving away a darts accessory package. We're going to be raffling off a darts accessory package. Um, we're going to put some good stuff in there. Um, you know, everything that you need to build a set of darts. Uh, we'll do flights, shafts, tips, um, and maybe even a nice case for your yeah. darts. So, um, you know, and again, join us on uh, Thursday uh, for the meet and greet. Uh, Lori and I will be on the stream. Um, we'll be answering your questions, taking your suggestions, um, you know, and just having a little bit of fun. We'll be giving away a, a mimosa and massage package uh, that was donated uh, to us from Holistically Balanced. Um, so uh, if, uh, if you're looking for, um, you know, a nice massage, and some mimosas. We'll have that available to give away. Um, and that starts, starts at four o'clock. That starts at four o'clock, and, yes. and we'll probably we'll stay on. A yeah. little, we'll stay on as long as you guys are there watching us. Sure. Um, so uh, you know, and, and take a quick second here to uh, to shout out again, Sarah Billiards Plus. Um, you know, they've been a huge help for us as far as the sponsorship goes. Um, you know, and that being said. You know, uh, also Phil Caldwell, uh, Caldwell Flooring. Um, you know, he's uh, he's going to be doing a lot of work for the storm. Um, you know, he's he's going to be uh, you know donating a lot of his time and uh, some things uh, for us to be able to give away. So Caldwell Flooring um, and uh, Billiards Plus. Um, you know, both our home bars, uh, the Flamingo in Marysville and Cushions Billiards and Lounge here in Westerville. Um, you know, both great places, uh, both places offer dart leagues. As a matter of fact, there's over 60 locations in central Ohio, uh, where you can sign up to play, uh, soft tip darts through Schaefer Entertainment. Um, uh, there's plenty of opportunity there with those, uh, all those different places. I mean, there are all over, I mean, you, anywhere you live in the, in the city, outside the city, you can find a bar that offers a league. And there's the leagues are even on the weekends. They they start on Sundays. So yep. Some there are some on Sunday. We have flex leagues, I believe, through Schaefer. Yep. So you can it can work around your work schedule and your life schedule. You know, hey, it's and, basically and, two hours once a week to get yep. get in the door. You know, start learning what darts is about if you're a new darter and and really joining the dart family. Yeah. I mean, that's really what it's all about. Uh, you know, I mean, I I have met. Honestly, some of the greatest people in my life through darts. Um, you know, I mean, I have I have my Indiana family, I have my Pennsylvania family, I have my Ohio family. Um, you know, we have Myrtle Beach, we have Florida, we have uh, you know uh, Illinois. Michigan. I mean, Michigan. I mean, just all over, all over Wisconsin. I mean, there are 
Um, you know, I mean, there are people everywhere that love this game as much as we do. Um, and, you know, you see how much fun we have, um, you know, and how, and how much fun it is for us to, you know, really get involved and get into things. Um, and we would love for you to join us. Um, and, and if you need any help getting yourself into darts or signing up for darts, reach you can out. reach out yeah. and we are happy to help you. We're happy to get you signed up. We're happy to get you involved, get you to a blind draw, get you in a league. Um, you know, both Cushions and uh, the Flamingo offer in-house leagues for beginning darters um, where you don't leave your home location. You just stay in your home location, um, you know, until you get comfortable enough to move up into the travel leagues. Um, and there is something for everybody. I mean, there there is in-house, there's bronze, there's silver, there's gold, um, there's women's singles, there's women's masters. I mean, there is... There is something, there really is something for everyone. There really is, yes. Um, so, you know, get yourself involved um, because it's a lot of fun and, you know, there is, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do as a result of playing darts. You can travel, you can see the country, even the world. I mean, there are, you know, I mean, we, through NATO, which is, we're dual sanctioned through NATO and Schaefer Entertainment, um, you know, you can hit a bull shooter. There is... Uh, 12 months of bull shooters um, and so there's the you know you can hit bull shooters and honestly winning a bull shooter puts you on the pro list so if that's a goal of yours um, you know hitting a bull shooter um, somewhere close to you or or taking the opportunity to kind of travel um, you know my first bull shooter what was yours too was yes. in Pittsburgh this Pittsburgh, last year yes. um, and, uh, you know, shout out to Becky and Scott Tigner for dragging us out <laughs> to the bull shooter. Um, during a level three. Yep, during a snow level emergency. three snow emergency. <laughs> um, you know, and, uh, and my, I threw with uh, Christy Johnston. And Christy and I were able to pull off two uh, top ten finishes in women's doubles in that in – that, uh, In that environment, that's outstanding. It was very yeah. tough. Um, and then, uh, you know, Greg Fontaine and I were able to pull off a top 10 finish in mixed doubles mm -hmm. um, and uh, top 24 for women's singles. Um, and when you go to that bull shooter, you know, Christy Johnson and I lost to Kelly Mears and Chris Grimmel. Yes. And, uh, and that was, oh, you know, you're almost starstruck when you go up against somebody like Christy Grimmel yeah. and Kelly Mears, two of the nicest people. Yes. Genuinely, just such nice women, um, and and uh, so fun to watch them play. Yes. And that's the thing that's cool about the women in this sport is that you know you have your Paula Murphys and you have your Chrissy Grimmels and your Kelly Mears and and your Shay Coles and you know you have all of these very capable women that are blazing this trail yes. that we're able to. We look up to them. Yeah, that we're yeah. able to look up to them um, and kind of see where we want our game to develop sure. and get to, um, you know, and, and, you know, so shout out to those women. Absolutely. Because, uh, They you know, are all amazing. You guys are all amazing and, and a true inspiration. And I know that I have uh, Chrissy Grimmel on my Facebook, Shay Cole on my Facebook. Um, so, you know, huge shout out to those girls. Um because uh, you guys are you guys are the true pioneers here that are setting the tone for the changes that we want to that we're trying to make in our game, yeah. so that we can sit on the line next to you and give right. you a run for your money <laughs> right. and not feel so starstruck. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes. yes, I know. I played Shay, you know, in the school singles, and she's just the sweetest. Just and such a just such genuine. a nice girl. And she messaged me, and she could see it just on the camera. She said, calm down, honey. It's okay. <laughs> you know, and I was very nervous to oh, play yeah. against her. But I learned so much in just that match. Yeah. From her. Just, it, it was amazing. I, I personally have not had the, the opportunity to play against Shay. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I enjoy watching yeah. her <laughs> whoop on Patrick when they play against yes. each other in gold singles. Yes. Um, you know, and I mean, and, you know, as far as the Indiana women, you know, you have your Mary Beth Collins, you have your Deb Porter, you have, you know, you have these Amy women. Amy Borland. Yeah, Amy Borland, my girl. Amy yes. Borland. Amy. Amy's Amy Borland, my girl. Yes. We love you, Amy Great Borland. Um, 
you know, but but having you know those women, you know, Jenny Matthews and yes. uh, and Kim Smith and you know just these women, these incredible women that I have had the pleasure of getting to meet mm -hmm. and play with and play against um, is really what it's all about. You Absolutely. know, it's all about you know meeting these women and the and 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 getting to know them mm -hmm. um, and being able to to have to go to these tournaments and not feel so out of place yes. and that's the biggest reason why we try to pull the new darters in because we want the new darters to come in yeah. um you know because i always remember our my first state tournament was t 2016 um and renee and i went to this state tournament and we walk into this room mm -hmm. and there's 150 dart boards and there's you know 500 dart players yes everybody's wearing a jersey yes and we're like oh my it's gosh we're so out of our element with these yeah. with all these great players and they're all wearing jerseys and it's so intimidating and nerve-wracking then we found out you could buy jerseys right so, it, could wear those so it was less intimidating yes. at by the end of it um okay. you know and and just getting to go to these events and being with these people and making these friends and yes. and having these people um, and I mean, we have our fair share of women right here in Columbus with Lori White and Sadie Davidson. Yes. Um, you know, Lori and myself, um, not to toot our own horns, but That's okay. <laughs> we, you know, we, we have graduated yes. to the status of elite women here in Columbus. Um, and it's just very cool. It's very cool to see the progression and to uh, be a part of something that really is just great it is i was gonna say too i remember you just talking about your first event my very first big event was just last year it hasn't even been a year um and i went to the summer showdown and i walked in the room and i seen 60 i believe dart boards mm -hmm. and our dart coordinator walked up to me tom and said what is wrong and i said i have never seen this many dart boards it is intimidating room. it is intimidating and i was very intimidated i did well but i was very intimidated so yeah and a big shout out to tom chiquetti yeah. schaefer entertainment tom is is uh is wonderful and is is a huge part of why we've been able to grow darts yeah. here in central ohio particularly um you know just just a great guy a lot of fun a lot of uh he's, he's a great dart thrower mm -hmm. which you'll be able to see him play yes. right here on the storm on September 3rd, they, him and Lee Johnson will be our main event uh, competing in a game of team cricket. He also it, he also plays a role in us being, you know, for us to be better, too. Right. He's an encourager, you know. I can't tell you how many times I've texted him and said, oh, my goodness, I'm so awful. And he's like, you need to stop and have fun, and that's important. Yeah. It's, yes, we all want to win, and we all, you know, it's easy to take it serious, like any sport. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And, and just the amount of dart bars that we have here in Central Ohio. I mean, you can go north side, south side, east side, west side. Um, you know, and and you can, and you can find a dart bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is, you know, um, you have O'Malley's and O'Malley's. Shout out to Fred over at O'Malley's. Yes. O'Malley's puts Love on Fred. a hell of a tournament on Friday nights. Um, lots of great competition. Yes. Big payouts, big triple shot. Um, you know, uh, if you if you need a place to go on Fridays, hit up O'Malley's. Yeah. Um, you know, we we love Fred. We love O'Malley's. So, uh, you know, take your darts, take your game. Make sure you don't leave your game at home, though. Otherwise, yeah. you'll be leaving early. <laughs> yes, on Friday nights, it's a tough one, but it is so much fun. Tons of fun. And and unfortunately for me, I'm never able to hit up the O'Malley's blind draw because I am always at work on Fridays. But I sure hope to make it to one sometime soon. Yes. Um, and I've only been to one, but I hear how much fun. I've had lots of people from Marysville go. Oh, yeah. And uh, all the darters that I talk to here in Columbus, they talk about it. And I'm going to make a real effort here real soon to get over there on a Friday night. Yep. I see all the pictures, and they, I, it's just a great community to be a part of. Absolutely. It absolutely is. Hi, Annie. <laughs> All right, so now that we've talked your ear off for 15 <laughs> minutes or so, 
uh, we're going to take a short break, and we'll come back to you when we have a match ready to stream. Uh, we're getting close to that final, folks, so make sure you stay tuned, um, and we'll be back with you um, in just a little bit. Um, you know, once again, like, share, follow the Storm Livestream Dart Challenges on Facebook. Follow the, uh, the YouTube channel. Yes. Um, you know, and if you if you are coming to us and you don't know Lori or I, feel free to friend us on Facebook. Sure. Um, you know, we're always looking to, you know, meet new dart players and, yeah. and have a little fun. So uh, stay with us, and uh, we'll be back in just a few. Thank you, guys. All right, all right, all right. 
right, everybody, we are back live. This is the Storm Soft Tip live stream dart challenges. We have a powerhouse match coming to you. My fellow MFN darts team member, Jason Seeger, and my Thursday and Tuesday doubles partner, Daniel Cameron, is taking on Dart Daddy himself, Patrick McGinnis, and 7-Up Mark as we like to call him. So we just got the diddle going, and it looks like Jason was the winner of the diddle. So let's get this going, folks. This is going to be a good one. I lied. Patrick and Mark were the winners. So this should be a very exciting match to watch. We've got two gold darters here on the line facing off against one another. So it should be a good match coming to you. So Jason Seeger, this is our first darts we've seen from him today. And a big hat trick for Jason Seeger, kicking things off with a 150. <clears throat> so we got Mark coming up to the line, hoping to do some damage. Oh, and he banks that triple one, which is my least favorite number on the board, but still manages 39 points. So we've got big Danielle Cameron coming up to the line. Those of you who don't know Danielle Cameron, you will soon. Danielle is my doubles partner for league. Uh, she's a great shot. We have a lot of fun playing together. She puts up with my, uh, she puts up with Dart Jessica, which uh, I'm sure some of you have witnessed that before in the past. So I've got Tommy coming in. He's going to join oh, me here on the oh, live stream. Oh, Tommy Guns is back. Oh, hey, Tommy G. I had Patrick, to come up and watch Patrick. Big double bull on his last start for 90 points. Oh, we, so got we got Jason Sager, too. Jason's oh. coming up, throwing a perfect game right now. So let's see here what he can do with his three. And that's four, five. And six oh, perfect darts. Six perfect Sager. darts for Jason Seeger. Six perfect darts. Big Mark's coming up. He's Let's one go, of our Big Mark. He pops in with a double five. Oh, Manages to hit 20. that 20 with his last dart. So we got Big Danielle Cameron Danielle coming to the Cameron. line. Bam, bam, Danielle. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, and she banks that triple one. Chasing that. Oh, Hits that go. bullseye. There you are. Manages oh, to leave a 109 that. finish a for out. Jason that's Seeger. So all Dark Daddy can do here is hope to get a score low that's enough that Mark has a shot at an out. Oh, and a big hat big trick for Patrick. There Coming you go, back. baby. Seeger, what's up? And that makes it an 11 point game now, but Jason Seeger still throwing a perfect game. Let's see if he can close this leg out Big with nine, nine, perfect nine, perfect nine darts. Nine darts. Oh, that is there it nasty. Is, and that's the perfect, that perfect is game. That is nine perfect darts from Jason nine Seeger. Nine perfect darts from Jason Seeger. I mean, that is incredible. I'm Which I knew was coming. I mean, glad let's be honest. To see it live. Yeah. He, he just needs the stream to show off a little yes. bit. That's all it is. Yes, that is true. Now it's Patrick's turn. So now we're moving on to cricket with Dark Daddy starting us off. Oh, oh and outside. blanks his first three darts. Can't do that when you got Jason Seeger coming up on the line behind you. You do not want to give Jason the darts. He's just foaming at the mouth with a dog with a chew toy right now. And he is able to capitalize with a four Big mark guy. on those 20s. So uh, Jason, uh, Jason and Danielle up 20 points. Here comes Big Mark coming in behind his partner. Three, 
three big darts, but right by the 18, right by the 18. He, was, he had the right idea going yes, for those did. 18s. But you got big Danielle Cameron coming in on the lower half of the board. That's my girl's favorite part of the board, y'all. You can see it in her eyes. She's excited about this part of the board. Oh, and she went for the hero dart on the triple 18. She'll stay there oh, and hit the bull. Why not hit a bull, Bark, on the last one? So Bulls always count, baby. Combined, Jason and Danielle right now after two rounds are throwing an eight. Oh, damn. That's a lot of good darts right here. And there's two. Can Patrick give me one? Oh, Dark Daddy oh, broke up. Oh, and Dark Daddy with Dark a Daddy seven mark up. on the 18s. And bringing them up on Jason's points. Like, cool story, bro. Let's see what I can do. So Jason here with, is he going to hit the nine? He's not. He'll go back on those 20s, I think. Yep, yep. he will. Big with a big time. five mark following it up. Got to get a little rim in there. So you got Mark coming up to the line, hoping Mark to get his shoulder. first marks of the day. And he is able to hit that single and just under on the second and oh, a trip 20 Pulls with his third and get those 20s out ones. of there. So you got big Danielle coming up to the board. She'll start on those 19s and she'll move. Oh no, she's up in points. She'll start on those 18s. Oh, and unable right to close. So close from Daniel. Very close, but Patrick here can take the lead with two triples right here. So he is able to hit the first. And can he go back up? Yes, he yep, can. He is. So that is a seven, big seven, seven mark. mark from 100, 108 points for Patrick Dark Daddy oh, McGinnis. Dark Daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, here comes Jason. Come right back. And he is going to close those 18s. He says, no more 18s from you guys. So let's see what big Mark darts can come up behind him. And we, ain't, we ain't calling him Mark 7 up. We, no more. We're calling him Mark darts. Dart Mark. Dart Mark. Darts. Darks. Darks. And let's see if Mark can capitalize and get those 19s out of here. Oh, oh but hey, it's a triple 16. 16. End, That's yes. all right. That's another Don't number think that was what his around. intention was, but he, he'll take those three marks oh, all I've, day. I've been in those shoes. So you got big Danielle Cameron coming up to the line, hoping to do some damage on those 19s. <laughs> and oh, she is able to hit 19s. three big 19s. Put 57 points on the board. Let's see if Dart Daddy can shut it down here with dub 19 and a trip 17. Let's see. Oh. Unable to close oh, those close. 19s. It, Patrick. It might be because he has a backwards hat on. Patrick, he wore a backwards Patrick. hat for the first time. It didn't do his hair. So we got Jason coming up to the line, hoping to do some damage on those 19s. And is able to take the point lead five mark. with a big five mark and 95 points. So you got Mark coming up. And Mark has a couple of options here. He can close that 19 or go straight at those 16s to get those points back up. And looks like he's going straight for those 16s. Uh -huh. And is able to big hit last. one as a big last. And you got the Beast Cameron. We'll just call her the Beast Cameron. No. Danielle the Beast. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. So Danielle, easy peasy. She's going straight at those 16s, hoping to trip those 16s out and take those points away uh -oh. and is able to hit two. two. Marks, Here comes Dart Daddy, a.k.a. Patrick. So once again, guys, please give us a like, uh, share this stream, and give us a follow. We're trying to get up to uh, 500 followers by the end of the weekend if we can. That'd be so awesome. that would be sweet. So please uh, share this with your friends. We appreciate all of you that are watching. Absolutely. Watching all the comments, all the suggestions, everything we got. Give it to all to us. We learn. So Jason's going to change it up and try to stand. Oh. Does take those 17s, and we'll close that 16. So that's a big, big five, five mark for Jason Seeger. So that's going to take away those 16s 
from Mark and Patrick. So Mark's Mark option here is uh, going at these 15s. Does manage a trip 17. Okay. That does take that. Yep. Good. Close big close, good. big close for Mark. So you got big Danielle Cameron coming up to the line, hoping to close out these 15. She does have winning darts in her hand yep. with a trip 15 Sold double bull, and she is capable of hitting that shot. So there is one. Chase Let's first. Smart darts. Ah, now go back to that trip 15. Uh -huh. Big shot, Danielle Big shot. Cameron. Right there. Putting her team one dart away. I don't know if you guys have a... From uh, knocking you know, Patrick and Mark out. You and Danielle, she had that triple 15 so good. So good. So good. Uh -huh. That's two big bowls, man. but you got big Jason Seeger coming up to the line and can close this game out with one dart. And he there manages it, it with two. Fun hanging out with you again, Jess. I got to go play. I'm handing it back to Lori. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck, Tommy. So that will knock Dart Daddy Patrick McGinnis and 7-Up and Mark out of this tournament. Jason Seeger, Danielle Cameron moving on uh, to play Brian McCrickard and Tommy Guns. So uh, we've got uh, Steve Nance and Kylie waiting. The winner's bracket in the hot seat for whichever players are going to come back through and they'll take them on. So uh, next up for you, we're going to have, uh, like I said, Tommy Coburn, Brian McCricker, Jason Seeger, Danielle Cameron. Um, so stay tuned and uh, we'll be back with you in just a few short minutes. Thank you.
All right, all right, all right, everybody. We are back here with the Storm live stream, Dark Challenge. Uh, streaming the blind draw here at Cushions Players and Lounge. Uh, got a good one coming to you here. It's going to be uh, Jason Seeger, uh, who just threw a perfect 0-1 game in the last stream match that we watched. Um, and Danielle Cameron are going to take on Tommy Guns and Brian McCricker. Um, uh, the winner of this is going to move on to play Sal and Angie May. Um, so this should be a good one here. Um, so this is uh, the quarterfinals, I guess. Um, so we got this quarterfinal match coming to you. So you got Brian up there warming up. Um, so, uh, you know, once again, give us a like, share, follow. Um, you can find us on Facebook, uh, The Storm, live stream Dart Challenges. Um, you can find us on YouTube as well under the same name. Um, so we are not streaming live on YouTube for this one because I couldn't figure out how to do it. So uh, this one is just Facebook uh, today, uh, but we will figure out how to get both streams going at the same time. But we will share the stream on the YouTube channel so you can go back and watch all the action that you missed. Uh, so far... It's honestly, it's been a really fun tournament to watch so far. It's been great streaming it, working some things out, but yeah. also just it was really good. I think all the, the darters were really excited for the stream tonight. And, uh, yeah, it's worked out really well. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been going well. Um, and this one should be a, a, an equally as, as good match, you know, with uh, Brian McCrickard and Jason Seeger uh, coming up. Um, so I think we're going to do the... It looks like it's going to be the diddle here. And that's two bowls for Brian that didn't stick. And his third one just off to the right into the 15, which is the story of my whole life. Yes. And some frustration in his face there. Yeah, a little bit, little bit of frustration there. And Jason hits that double bowl. Uh, so he's going to take that diddle. So that means that Jason and Danielle are going to start us off here for this 501 first leg. Um, you know, and like I said, last 501 game we watched Jason Seeger throw, it was a perfect game. It was two hat tricks, and then he took out a 109. Um, so it was pretty cool to be able to see that live and in person. Yes. Um, Ryan George, I'm sorry that I call him Dart Daddy. I will stop <laughs> doing that. Um, I don't mean to make things uncomfortable for you. And there it is. That's 12 perfect darts in 01 for Jason Seeger. Outstanding darts, uh, Just yes. absolutely incredible to watch. Just killing it. Uh, so Brian is up here. Uh, honestly, comparable. Yes. Is very capable of uh, following it up. And, and manages to hit 78 points. That's going to bring Danielle Cameron up to the line. Brian's a very skilled starter. Yeah, very good. Very, very much looking forward to playing with Brian. Yes. It's going to be yes. a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun playing gold doubles with Brian, who's taking a chance on a lonely, lowly darter like myself. <laughs> you guys will make a great team. So that's uh, 42 points there for Danielle Cameron. So we have... Uh, Ah, oh, Brad and Naomi Adams in the chat. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, we'll get you guys up in here, get you on one of these streams. We'd love to have you. So we got Jason Seeger coming back up, see if he can continue his streak. I mean, it is just <laughs> nasty. That is wow. 15 perfect darts 15 for Jason Seeger. I mean, and to have Jason Seeger as a teammate of mine yes. on MFN darts is huge. Yes, yes. Um, he is, uh, not exciting. only is he a great dart player, mm -hmm. he is a great person. Uh, mm -hmm. He is very knowledgeable when it comes to the game of darts. Yes. Um, I've, I've spent many a nights taking advice from him. Mm -hmm. Um, on how to improve my game and and uh, just just a really good dude, yeah, really all awesome. around just a yeah. good dude. He is. So Danielle does have a shot here at an out. Uh, she's not going to take it this round, but she can set Jason up for a nice out with a 128. Let's see what Tommy's going to do here at the line. 
So right now all Tommy can do is, is hope to knock some points off that score and uh, get it down. And he does with a trip 20 with his first dart, with his second dart. And he almost gets the ton 80. Biffs the third dart into the five for a 125, but still a huge round. Puts a slight bit of pressure on Jason Seeger. Jason but the way Jason 50. is throwing today, I would not be surprised. Oh, and 16 perfect darts for Jason. And leaves a great out for Danielle and no pressure. Um, the the uh, opposing team, Brian and uh, Brian can really chop it down here. But he can he can chop it down to put a little bit of added pressure with does. a low ton, yes. making it a 19 point game. So that does That's put a guard. little bit of pressure on Danielle Cameron to hit this uh, 60 out. Um, she is more than capable of doing that. Um, I'd imagine she'll go straight at that trip 20 with her first dart. And still leaves herself a single dart out with a triple 16. Oh, and is unable to leave a finish with her third dart, but she can set her partner up. And she, she hits a triple 11 and leaves Jason with an eight. But that's a huge opportunity here for Tommy to take out this 79. And, you know, at this point, I'd go 16, trip 20. And he and he does go for that trip 20 and is able to leave a 56 with 23 points. That's going to bring Jason up to take out the last bit of this 501 with eight points. And he does it with a double in style, finishing that game. Seven, 16 perfect darts for Jason Seeger, finishing that game out with a 37.5. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to cricket here and Brian and Tommy will go first. So we'll see what kind of damage Brian can do here with his first three darts. And he is able to at least close those 20s and take those that uh, point opportunity off the board. Um, so we got Jason coming up to the line now. And a big nine mark and a shout out to Sean Green. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I've been waiting all night to be able to say that and Jason Seeger he opens did. with a white horse. Oh my goodness gracious. And Tommy with a big three. I will not steal. Boom goes the dynamite. That is my one and only time ever saying it, but <laughs> paying homage to Sean Green. She just missed the And just missed 17. that triple. She sure did. Brian can take uh, some opportunity here and get some points up on the board and is able to do so with three fat 17s. And so that's going to bring Jason, I mean, just an absolute monster today on the boards. Crystal Lighter joining us. Thanks, oh, Crystal, for tuning in. Crystal, hey, girl, what's happening? Crystal, we love you. <laughs> uh, Crystal Lighter, also a fellow uh, MFN team member. Um, uh, just a, what a great lady. Yes. Her and, and Wanda, just two of the best ladies I've met through darts. Genuinely, genuinely just very much enjoy those two women. Very nice. Uh, they're very, just, very nice ladies. Just very, yeah. very, 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 very nice ladies. Really en enjoyed watching their darts as well. Absolutely. Very good shots, both very of them. Very good shots, yes. Danielle able to hit a big trip 16, and they're just making their way down the board here. I, I, you know, Jason and Danielle are looking tough to beat. They really are. Um, 
and and we've got some you know on the other side of this is some good shots with Brian and Tommy um, and Brian able to capitalize nice there there Brian with four marks mm -hmm. and able to close and point on those uh, 15s they're doing what they need to to try to battle back and Naomi it's uh, Jessica Keller and Lori Simpkins are commentating So Jason able to put 57 points up on the board. He tried to take those 15s away and was unable to do so. So Tommy hoping to crush and takes the point lead by one point. Great last dart there by Tommy. Puts a little bit of pressure on Danielle here. She needs two darts to the point and close. And those numbers down there again, we've got a 2-5, a 3-3, three, three, a 5-3, and a 2-8. We've got a good match going here. And Danielle I'll be able to do exactly what she needed to, getting that point lead and closing out those 15s. So Brian's moving on to the bullseyes. And is big, able to big take dodge. a hat trick. Yes. Able to take a hat trick. Mm -hmm. Puts a little bit of pressure on Jason Seeger, but I unfortunately don't see him missing this shot to close out this game. So we're just gonna go straight to the bullseye camera. He needs one more. Oh, and just on the outside, that's that commentator's curse we've been hearing about. <laughs> if you say it out loud. Mm -hmm. I don't know about all of you, but I think a hat trick in cricket is so hard to do. Oh, it is, especially if you hit the first two. Yes, yes. It feels like the third one's a mile away. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Danielle, I'm moving back over to the bullseye board here. We're going to see if Danielle can't close out this game. Oh, and flighted out of that bullseye with her second dart, but does manage 19 points. See, now this is where Brian is dangerous because Brian is no stranger to these bullseyes. And pegs one right in the double Big and gets another yes. to take that point lead. 75 points on the board for Brian McCricker. Really that was battling. a big shot. So Jason Seeger here can still win. I'd assume he'll go trip 19 bull. And he does, and he closes it out with a 4.71. So uh, Jason Seeger and Daniel Cameron moving on. Brian McCrickard and Tommy Guns are out. So we are moving on to the semifinals. We're going to see... Jason Seeger and Daniel Cameron take on Kevin Salamon and Angie May. And that is going to be a battle. And I'm telling you what, it's uphill from there because in the hot seat, you have Nance and Kylie waiting in the wings for the winner of the next match. Uh, and that is no easy feat uh, to get this far. But again, Danielle and, and uh, Jason Seeger look like... Yes. They are finally, they are catching their stride together. Whoever ends up in the championship or in the finals, whoever it is, it's gonna be a definite battle. Absolutely. Sure. All right, so we'll just take this, take this opportunity here to uh, Make sure that we uh, remind you uh, to like and share, follow the stream. Um, you know, once again, we have, we're not going to have much time now in between matches. They're going to get they're going to get rolling pretty quickly here. Um, so, like I said, we've got uh, Jason Seeger, uh, Danielle Cameron going up against Sal and Angie May. This one should be a good one. Um, everybody to get to this point has thrown some pretty incredible darts. Yes. Uh, which is pretty cool, um, and we've seen some some really bright spots on this stream today. Um, some of the new dart players, you know, you had uh, Annie, you know, throwing over a three. Yes. You had my wife throwing a twenty-four, and Annie did it against me, and Evelyn did it with me. Yes, <laughs> yes, 
it was a great day for darts. And great honestly, day. it has been. It's been a great day for darts. Um, it's been a uh, it's been a great day for darts, and it's been a great day uh, really to just kind of get this out here yeah. and uh, kind of mess around with some things and, and see kind of what we're doing here. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been really a lot of fun. I appreciate. Lori and I appreciate Tommy. We appreciate everybody tuning in and all the feedback and everything that we've, you know, received and gotten from you guys. It's been really great. Um, you know, and again, shout out Indy to the Point Streaming, The Siege, Jason Ives. We just can't say that enough. I just cannot. You're probably sick of hearing about it at this point, but we really cannot say enough just how great uh, that company has been and, and instrumental in getting our company off the ground. Um, you know, and we we want to you know do we want to bring the best possible show that we can bring to you, and uh, and everything has has just been real great. Yeah, I was going to say to chime in here today when we started this, wasn't quite sure how a tournament would work out, and it has worked out really yeah, good. Yeah, it's been great. It's been it really great. has. What's up, Big Danielle Cameron over here, <laughs> trying on one of the sweet hats that Jason Ives brought us to play with. Sorry about that, everybody. Had a little bit of technical difficulty. Our first technical difficulty of yeah, the day, though. So that's pretty day, good. Yeah. That is pretty good. So, uh, you know, we've been hovering around uh, about 10 to 30 viewers this entire time. So it's been really, it's been really cool seeing um, all the names pop up and all the people popping up in the chat um, and all the, you know, just all the support. It's just been really great. Um, you know, and, uh, and the support we've been getting from the community, yeah. from the dark community, from, you know, the local businesses, small businesses, everybody wants to get involved. And I think that that's great because um, we want, that's what we want. We want you to get involved, yes. um, you know, and at this point we are, we are looking for guest hosts on yes. the stream, uh, special guests, people that we can bring in, interview, have chats with, mm -hmm. um, and it's open for everybody. Yes. Anybody that wants to come, let us know. Let us know if you want to sit in on a commentary. We're happy to have you. Um, you know, and we do have some great things coming up. Um, you know, like like we said, uh, uh, next Thursday at 4 p.m., we have the, uh, the Q&A meet and greet where we're going to give away the mimosas and massage package from uh, Holistic Massage. Um, so that's going to be cool. Um, you know, we'll be at, Lori and I will be there. Tommy will be there. We'll be there to answer your questions. Um, you know, we'll have uh, fun, th fun things to give away. Um, you know, and then join in September 3rd. Uh, we're kicking the day off at 2 p.m. with uh, Jacob Yono and Phil Caldwell um, facing off against each other at 2 p.m. At 3 p.m., we're going to have Tommy Guns and Nate Griffith facing off against each other. And that's just getting us ready for the main event. The main event, yeah. Which is going to be uh, Big Tom Chiquetti and, and Lee Johnson uh, playing each other in a, uh, a battle of team cricket. And I promise you don't want to miss it because the way they play team cricket is something like something I've never seen before. It is a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, you know, they play their league matches uh, sometimes here at Cushions, and after their league match is over, they will stay there and they will play team cricket. And it's a lot of fun watching them. Yeah. Um, they throw they throw some good darts. So it looks like we're going to kick it off here. With Can our. I, go ahead. No, go ahead. I just wanted to chime in too and thank all the darters that came out today and tonight and that was willing to be on the stream. We're thanking everybody else, but let's thank them. We had we had a really good turnout today. Absolutely. 
Um, and Sal opening up with a big low ton. Six. So 26 dart players tonight in the blind draw. Yeah. Uh, so everybody that came out, not to mention everybody that's here watching. Absolutely. Um, you know, we had, we had a lot of uh, support come in from Marysville. We had a lot of support come in from Westerville. Mm -hmm. um, and Jason Seeger following it up with a low ton of his own with 117. So that's going to bring Angie May to the line. And like I said, the 19 queen, you will not see her even go at those bullseyes. She's going to go straight for those 19s. And she does manage to get one. And hey guys, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel as well. If, you, if you're if you not able to see it live, you can always go there and check it out. The link is on our Facebook page. All our videos will be put, they're on the Facebook page. Share it out, you know, try to get somebody involved in darts that maybe they don't know anything about darts. Right, absolutely. That's, that's what this is all about. Soft tip dart exposure. That's what we all need here for our sport. Absolutely, because if, if you grow it, it grows. Yes. And Sal really finding his stride here. And that's back-to-back -back low tons for Sal on the line. So he's uh, he's pulling up with a 117, um, taking a just 99-point lead um, against Jason and Danielle. So let's see what kind of uh, numbers Jason can put up here. Oh, and just misses that other bullseye for 81 points. So that's going to keep Sal and Angie May in the lead by 18 points. And Angie May again going straight at those 17s, or 19s. And you can see in her face she's getting a little frustrated, but Angie May... Everybody sees how good Angie yes, May is, except yes. for Angie May. Yes. She's the only one that doesn't see it. Darts is definitely a frustrating game, but oh, yes. Man. I have a question for everyone. Put it in the chat if you agree, disagree. Do we believe that there's a such thing as a hat trick hangover? Oh, absolutely. I, I agree. definitely agree. But I've had darters say, eh, that doesn't exist. And I, I just believe it does. It's one of those things that I think it's pretty easy to yep. for that to happen. I absolutely believe in the hat trick hangover, mm -hmm. even if it's only mental. Right. I agree <laughs> with it. I believe in it. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and Sal's first trip to the board there without a load time with only 22 points. So that's going to open the door for Jason Seeger have a big round here. And he will. Yes. <laughs> and he's going to go bull, bull. And can he hit the third? And he misses just off the wire. He's definitely a relentless start player. Absolutely. <laughs> Claws his yes. way. Yes, yes. From deficit. And Angie May, again, going at those 17s and just hitting them a little low. But she does manage a double there for 52 points. So both teams at an out here. So that is going to bring up Danielle Cameron, um, you know, and, and Danielle is capable of taking a ton plus finish out with no problem. I've seen her do it. I've seen her do it. I've too. been with her when she's done it. <laughs> I've been against her when she's done it. Absolutely. So going for that bull on her last dart. Oh, that, and she manages a single one, knocks 20 points off the score. So it's a bit of a tough finish. A ton plus finish is a bit of a tough yeah. finish. Um, Danielle's one of those, too, that I've seen grow so fast. Absolutely. Because the first time that Danielle Cameron came to play here, uh, we were um, in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. So it has a – okay. Yeah. I was watching the cameras from our hotel room, and I was like, who's this person? <laughs> Hi. Did you give a shout-out to Brad Bambi? I did. Fuck yeah. I did, yes. Hell yeah. I did. I said, oh, Brad and Naomi are in the chat. They are in there. We are talking to They're Big Brian the right whole now. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Brian McCrickard's walked up to the stream booth. Hello. He threw some great darts today. We watched him throw some great darts, and Jason Seeger unable to capitalize, but able to leave a double 16. And Brian's on the stream now. Hello, Brian. Good evening. Hi, welcome. Hello. For those of you that don't know Brian McCrickard, here he is. 
he's pretty awesome. Uh, Brian McCricker and I are actually going to team up in the fall for gold doubles. So really looking forward to that. It's going to be a good time. Angie May can win this with Get her that. favorite double 19. And she Ooh. misses just off the board. And that is Angie May's favorite double at 18. So Danielle with an opportunity here to take this double 32 out. Double 32. Double 16. Double 32 is a great double, shot. Double 32 is the best shot. <laughs> it's a big good shot here. She loves the right side of the board. She does. And she is. hits it in nice the shot. double with two darts. So uh, Danielle and Jason taking the first leg. We're going to move on to cricket where Angie May and Sal are going to go first. Now, Sal loves these 20s. This is going to be oh, an he does. start. And, and he's finding his stride now. He so he's really, finding, uh, he's really finding his darts between his 20s and Angie May's 19s. We might be able to see a, a pretty pretty good game this here. It's going to be a tough, this good force game three here. He's, he's, uh, he loves his 20s. And he is able right. to hit three at Get least. Close. And close them out, steal them away from Jason Seeger, who's going to move to the 19s. Did open with a white horse in his last cricket game. He's been throwing some pretty fire darts. He has. Uh, he's beat me twice. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I will first-hand experience that. Big third here. Oh, and he flatlines okay. on his first three. So that's going to leave the door open here for Angie May on her favorite 19s. Angie's been on fire, too, so she is looking to hit some points. Ooh, There's big first. And she'll stay there, I think. I oh, love no, it. She's going to move over. And that's a big four mark big from four Angie mark. May, taking the two t the two top point, lead, point numbers off the board. So that's going to move Danielle on to the 18s, and she's been hitting those triple 18s like they've been giving them out for free. So she's been everything. She has she's been, been on, amazing today. She has been on hot fire today. I like that. Go 17s. Okay. It's a little more comfortable with the bottom half like of the it. board. But here's the thing about Sal and um, Angie. They, they're they very sneaky good. They um, Sal is a really good shot. I've witnessed him firsthand in Vegas. Absolutely. But Angie is one of those starters that's just, you never, you don't expect it, but she gives it to you. Yep. It's a and great she shot. does. Seeger with a big shot here, too. I'd expect Jason to do some work on these 17s here. Big seven, Mark. Big seven, 102 points plus the close on those 17s. But again, Angie May's favorite 19s are wide open. She, ba she buries two of them in there. Closes the gap a little bit on that big point lead that they have going on the other side. It's going to be an interesting first start where Danielle goes here. I expect her to go 19 first start, but we'll see how she goes. She went 20. I like it. She's going to stay there. Okay. Maybe she'll go 17s on her last. I hope she's going to stay there. Okay. Smart shot. That Sal. slight hesitation is what always gets me that when I go big, on my third dart. Oh man, that's, that's so tough when you take that little 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 break there. Oh, he's gonna go 18s. Okay, that's a, okay. That's a smart dart. I fully Absolutely expected all 20s there, but what darts. a big shot! Big what darts big from shot. Sal. He's able to close. And, and you see the team dart. I love it. That's great. Dart. It really is. He shot so good out there. And he's a, he's a steel tipper. So yep. he, them 20s are, that's his thing. But big shot on the 18s there. And Jason able to close the 20s and rack up 17 more points. But again, leaving those 19s wide open for the 19 queen, Angie May. Angie and the 19s is guaranteed. Give me one triple, Angie May. Oh, oh right there, right there off the board of that double. But it puts the pressure on Danielle. She's now got to hit at least three to make that hurt. So it's a good shot. It's a great shot. On him. 
little, little bit of pressure. So she's going 19 for a start. Okay. Okay. She did go 19 seconds. She'll go back 17s and go some more points on there. And a lot of people don't understand. Danielle is one of the all-star team members now. Yes. Well, as, as, as well as you. <laughs> Along with myself. Yes. Absolutely. That is going to be a stout team, by the way. Yes. Uh, Mo Sayer. Danielle Cameron. Oh, Mo Sayer. And myself. Mo. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Wow. And there is. What a start this round. And. Barry with a nine Sal. mark Sal. Doesn't count as a nine mark, but we all saw it. I counted as a it's nine a, mark. Counted as a seven mark. Great darts but by man, Sal. Sal coming in clutch and pulling with a four two five. Wow. What a, and what that a big is shot. Definitely gonna put the pressure Can on. See your answer though. Oh, and only okay. three fats, but he does get the close on the sixteens. Angie May coming up with the big close here. Angie May will just start with those 16s. You just feel like she's going to hit a big round. She just feel like she's going to hit a big round. And give me them triple 15s, and she's right there to take one more shot at it. Okay. And she it, does close, close those 16s because that puts that pressure right back on Danielle Cameron. She's got to plug at least nine in the 15s to catch them up. Which she is capable of doing. I've now, seen her do it. She told me she loves 15s. She does so. love 15s. I've left her many a 15s to win these games, and she will she will capitalize if you leave them there for her. And just on Tough the wire round. with those 10s, just unable to hit those darts. Now, so that's Sal. Wow. Big that's Sal a nine. Up. Can he follow the nine with a big six here to end the game? Because he does have winning darts in his hand. Can he hit that triple? He can. Big. That's a huge ah. shot from Sal. Throwing a 4.20. We are on our way to game three. I this love it. This is coming to game three. It looks like Seager, it's going to go to game three. He's got to hit five here. Got to hit five. Let's go to the bull board. He is very capable, though. And he gets two out of okay. five. But Angie I, May can end it here. You just feel like Angie's going to hit it. I just, you know. God, you just feel like she's going to hit it. I always feel like Angie's going to hit it. I love how calm she is. Just that, yep, not a care in the world. She throw, she shows no emotions, mm -hmm. and that's what Stoic. you kind of have to do. And she goes 19 on I her like last it. dart. Smart dart. <laughs> Buy him another bullseye. So they're about with 90 points. They're up 90 points and several, several wedges. I think so Danielle's going to answer here, though. I, have a, I just I feel like she's going to answer here. And there's, there's one. a single. Oh, and just a little low. Does manage to get the one, though. That's a good answer. But okay. Sal can end it here. I'm going to keep it here on the bullseye. I like bullseye it. Keep it cam. on that bullseye because I feel like Sal's hitting the double on the first dart. I'm just going to call it. Like, I'm I calling feel like double this bullseye. game is going to three. I'll take 18 points. Drop it a little low. Take 19 okay. points. Those are great misses, yep, though. Great, great misses. misses. Absolutely. He can't hang his head there. He's, he's still shooting an amazing game. Absolutely. Now, Seeger here. Seeger can go six. Absolutely. He's, he's got capability of doing it. And is able to put Big three in. Big hat trick. And that's what Seeger can do. Seeger's a, a great shot. He can do that to you. Now Angie can come up here and hit three. It's fine. They've got to. They've got to start getting this game closed out, though. Good miss. Big miss. Okay. Big that's miss. miss. With Eighteen points. So Danielle coming up with a chance to to bring him back in the game here. All right, we got. Tyler Maxwell in the hey, chat. Hey, what's up, Tyler? Said, I what's work up? with him what's every up, Bri? other day. Right there. And also, Olivia Terry, a monster of a shot. Olivia Terry. Oh, right there. Super Dart sponsored player, Olivia Terry. So tearing it up Sal in has the a chat. Chance here. Oh, and 
just outside on that last bullseye. They're struggling a little bit to close this game out. And this is where you got to be careful because Seeger and Danielle can hit bulls. At, Absolutely. In a, in a multiple way. So and you Seeger have to be very could take careful. the point lead here. I still, he still can. One more and, uh, and big shot. Big okay. shot. Twenty point difference now. It's a twenty point game. It changes things a little bit, but Angie May can end things with one in the black. I feel like you take one here. Just, I load them up. Load them up, girl. Just so calm too. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I love it. Good smart darts though. So Danielle now, she's got to hit two. Take, take the lead here. But the double points. bull's interesting because after that dart, where do you go? Because you could take a shot at a number. It's and the way Sal's been hitting those 18s, but with a mark on 19s and 15s, I'd have to pick one of those two. I agree. Ooh, I thought it was in there. I think Sal ends it here. I just have a feeling that Sal's... Um, Megan Maxwell in the chat. I feel like Sal's gonna gonna do this here. Let's switch over to our bullseye cam. Bullseye camera. cam. Oh, and just to the right gonna of the bull. He's gonna and clean it up. And there's one. Let's see. Can he end it? And great he shot. can. What a great shot. Yeah, Sal's a clutch shot. Sal. Okay, so we're going so to we're game going three. To game three. We are. It is. They forced the decider with that cricket Let's game. Let's go to the bull cam for the diddle. Beep, beep, beep. I love Let's it. go. So it looks like, well, we don't have a diddle yet, but we'll see who's going to diddle first. Olivia Terry, you let me know, girl. You let me know when you want to get on this stream. I would love to have you. I would love to bring you down uh, here to Columbus so, and uh, have you on the stream. Um, we've got lots of stuff coming up. So uh, just hit me up. Send me a message. Um, on Facebook, that's Great a double diddle. bowl wow. for Jason Seager. And I was going to say, I feel like Jason has the advantage here. He you, does, you absolutely. You give him a clean bowl, he's going to hit it. It's a great shot. Now, Sal is capable of beating this. He could go right over top of him and does just, not. He went over top. He just did, a just little a little too, too much far. <laughs> but again, Olivia, send me a message, girl, and we'll work something out, and I will get you on this stream. I would love to have you, bring you up to my bar, show you a good time, yes. introduce you to everybody. We'd love to have you. So Anytime. Just, here, here's how here's how I feel like this is going to start, and I feel like I think they're going to play cricket. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I feel like Jason's going to start with seven because Jason is a very clutch player. Absolutely, I, I just, especially I under like pressure. 100%. I feel like he's going to hit two trips here, guaranteed. Seven's not happening. Six, perhaps, Six though. Six happen. Ooh, Ooh, and okay. he does just with the that three. That is a the rare miss by Jason Seeger. That's what we call the commentator's curse. I am so sorry. If you say it out loud. I should have said it when I was playing him. <laughs> <laughs> so Sal, come on, Sal. And Sal unable to capitalize. So a little pressure here. A little you know, bit of pressure. The nerves do get to you. They I do. mean, we played a game three against Jason, and... and you know, the nerves do get to you. Well, and taking that second game win, it's a lot of adrenaline when you're playing against somebody like Jason. Um, I agree. And, and being able to pull a win out from, from somebody like that. Um, you know, at, the, at that tournament, uh, the, the big one at the point on Maine when I was Patrick McGinnis' partner. Wow. Um, and we played against uh, Jim Medley and Brandon Kessler. And I threw my best starts of the day. You shot amazing. That was a great anyway. match. You shot amazing. I mean, I didn't want to play you guys at all. And, and then that's... as soon as that match was over, we moved on and played Seeger. And I went from throwing a 4-3-3 to a 1-3-3. <laughs> but it was like I had that adrenaline going from, from playing against somebody like Jim Medley and Brandon Kessler. Yeah, um, And being able to stand on the line and, and hold my own against somebody like that. And then moving on to the next one against Jason Seeger. And, it and that's, was, it, I didn't, you know, it that's was That's the fun there. thing about gold doubles. You're going to you're gonna realize you're going to step your darts up so much. It's going to oh, be so absolutely. much fun. Oh, absolutely. I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward to it. I am excited it. for this. And a big five mark absolutely. there. Absolutely. So, and, you know, the thing is, though, that this game is wide open. Because Sal could go seven mark here and easily be back in this game. Yes. I mean, he, he can put five into the 17s minimum. I think that they're okay. He's still got no, cool Angie May behind him. 
And he is Big able to bird. hit the four at least. It's a so great shot. that puts 18 points on the board. So Danielle should go 17 here. Yes. Uh, I feel like that's With the right marks, shot. Yep. And if you hit a triple, you move. If you don't, you stay there. I mean, whatever you're comfortable with. But Danielle's very comfortable in the Absolutely. 17. Absolutely. I feel like she's gonna she's gonna pile in a little bit here. And she's just missing just left and right, but still in the in the right. All over it. All over it. Now that leaves an opening for Angie May. Now the. the the thing here is, does she stay on the 17s and open this up a little bit with another number, or does she try to close them 19s? I think she goes 17s here. I do think she goes I 17s and hits the double Picks to open. First. And then is going to move on. Smart darts by Angie May. So calm and collected. Her and Sal are probably the most relaxed and calm Absolutely. team. Absolutely. And, and that's why they're dangerous, because they're the sleeper team. Right. And every tournament has one team where it's just they just keep creeping. And it's hard to get rid of them. And Jason's just so smooth, too. So. And Big that is a huge, shot. huge five mark from Jason. And... Uh, Sal needs to pile them 16s in now. 15s or 16s, you pick your number, but you got to pile them. And he can. He is capable of hitting those 16s and finishing that lurb with a triple. And oh. He did, a triple seven. Wrong but triple, it was, but that's uh, right there. It was right there. Now, Danielle could end this game here with a trip, trip, and a, and a bullseye. It would be huge. That but closing the 16 is big. Which is her second favorite number. Yes. And hitting that trip with her third dart is exactly what she wants. Oh, she I love it. it. With that double. I love that third dart. That she was used to, she wonderful. did that against us. She shot the confident darts and she hit them. That's, that's great. Huge. And Danielle is, has been my doubles partner. We're playing in two separate leagues together. And there's a trip 15 from Angie May. Can she pile it in with shot, a six Angie. mark? From Angie May, a big six mark. That on is those a game 15s. changer. That changes everything. So now Seeger has to go trip, trip to make that hurt, which he is capable of doing. But Angie May with a huge six mark. She's got to go trip here. Oh, and he closes instead. I love it. And that, big that's a huge seven shot. Mark. Big seven mark. Seven mark for Jason Seeger. And. You can't do anything about that. You Angie shot the perfect dart. That was the best. Jason just answered him. Now Sal can answer two here. Sinking one in the black here. Oh, okay. almost. But he does put one on the board. But Danielle can end things here with three in the bowl. Now, with Danielle here, I look if she misses the first two to look at that 19. Absolutely. I think she can put this game away if she hits a triple or two bulls here. Oh, and that is so close right to that there. bullseye. I like the 19 there. And now we're going points. I would go points, and she does with a single. Smart shot. That was the smart, that was the smart shot. See, Danielle, is, she's sneaky good, too. I know oh, you yeah. said you're a partner, but you know how good she is. I she do is know how good she is. Smart at dark. She's very smart. Angie with the, she can do it here. Oh. She's going to hit it here. She's so okay. close. That second one was pretty close. Could have gone either way. She kept him in the game last round. So I mean, honestly, you can't you can't worry about that round now. Now Seager likely hits a hat trick here. We're gonna swap over to this bullseye cam like just it. in case. I'd expect Seager to end this game here, and he two does. Two darts. I expected three darts. With a four point. Wow. Nine four three. Four nine three. Holy moly! But look. I'm going to give a shout out to Angie May with a 275. That is an amazing five. I mean, game from just her. Just absolutely incredible. And really was just such a great match that was. Seeker's a tough shot. I mean, he is. you can't miss much. And when you do miss, he's going to make it hurt. And absolutely. He absolutely showed that there. He can punish you, and he did. So and he did. I look forward to this finals match. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So, you know, uh, uh, Nance and Kylie have been waiting for a minute, but they have been practicing on the other board. Right. Um, and the way that we saw them throw earlier on this stream, they're going to be a tough team to beat. But if there is a team in this tournament that can beat them, it's going to be Danielle and Jason. So um, I, um, I, I personally, I've played against all these people a lot. And I personally think Steve Nance is very underrated. I, I know Seager's I amazing. I think Steve Nance is probably one of the better Columbus shots. I agree. And and this will be a great finals. And um, we talked about that earlier about 
about uh, the undiscovered talent that is Steve Nance. Um, Nance is an enigma. This guy, if, if you don't know Nance, <laughs> Nance is Nance. So he's yep. just, uh, there's no other way of saying it. But he is a, he's a very great, he's a good shot. Um, I think him and Seager will go head to head. I think it's going to come down to their partners. And, yep. and I like I like what Danielle is doing right now. And I just, I feel like Seager has momentum. I like Seager and Danielle. Yep. But I would not be surprised if this is a quick match. Yeah. yeah well, and, and it, you know, it, it's it's obviously if the Seeger and Danielle take the first one, it's going to go to uh, the double dip. Um, and, you know, that's where a lot of people will thrive when the pressure is on. Um, right. I'm going to so, make a bold statement and say this doesn't go to double. I'm going to say agree. Nance, and, um, I'm gonna say I, Nance I, and his partner win this. Yeah, I think, I think the advantage lies with Nance and Kylie, especially with witnessing, you know, I mean, I did – Witness Jason Seeger throw 16 perfect darts. Um, I witnessed him throw a lot of perfect darts. <laughs> he beat me pretty bad twice. So I, I will say this: that um, if I had to pick who I had to play, I would pick neither. So yeah, I would pick um, me, and that's why I didn't play tonight. I've, right? I've just been here we the could whole have time. practiced for gold doubles. We could have been good to go here. So uh, we're going to take a short break, and we will be back with the finals. Um, it, again, it's going to be uh, Jason Seeger and Danielle battling back in the second chance bracket to get back to the finals. Um, and they're going to be going up against uh, Kylie and uh, Steve Nance. So stay tuned for a heck of a final we have coming towards you. It's going to be a good one. So uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.
All right, all right, everybody. Welcome back to the Storm Livestream Dart Challenge stream of the cushions blind draw it is jessica keller and Lori simpkins hi here. everyone hello everyone welcome back uh we have a heck of a final match mm -hmm. for you um we've got uh, jason seeger and danielle cameron um battling their way through the second chance bracket to get back to steve nance and kylie in the hot seat for the final um so the format does not change uh Set one is a race to three. Um, 501 cricket choice. If uh, J Jason and Danielle can take the first set, it will move to set two, which will be 501 cricket choice. So they're warming up a little bit here. Um, this is going to be a great match. This is going to be a great match. So make sure that you like, uh, share the stream, and give us a follow. Um, because this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a great match. We're going to mm -hmm. see some really good darts, um, in this final. Um, they're getting started now with the diddle. Um. And thank you all for hanging in. We know it's getting late. We're wrapping up, but it's been great. Everybody's just, everybody's just, uh. And really Nance, good troopers today. Nance hits three bulls with his diddle <laughs> and none of them stick, which Greg, I think the answer to your question is no, his darts do not stick in the board, but he does <laughs> manage to get the diddle, so Nance and Kylie will get the start. Um, Nance and Kylie need one win. Uh, Jason and Danielle need to win two back-to-back -back sets, so we're going to get it going here. Uh, Steve Nance and Kylie uh, leading us off in this 501 game. Jason Seeger and Danielle waiting in the wings for their chance. And Nance starting us off with a big hat trick. Great. Like I great said, opener. ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a great final. So let's see what kind of answer Jason can give. And we're going to go back to this bullseye camera, and that is a big low ton with 115 points. Uh, unable to hit that third bull, just wired it out on that 15. So we got Kylie on the line. And hit a big low ton, 117 <laughs> yes. points. So that's going to bring Danielle Cameron up to the line, hoping to do some damage on this 386. Everyone throwing great pulls. And she's right there on those bullseyes. Let's see if she can grab one with her last dart. And just underneath, but manages to knock 41 points off the score. So just about a 100-point game here. Nance coming up, hoping to continue his hat trick streak. And there is that hat trick hangover we spoke about earlier. But still able to knock 82 points and leave them on a finish. So all Jason Seeger can do here is hope to knock some points off the score to get them down to a finish. Is he going to do it? And, and he, he does, does it. with a hat trick to get them down to 195, so it puts a little bit of pressure. Um, but they are still six darts away from yes. the finish. Oh, and he can win it here. Oh, smart shot, though. What a smart dart. Big yes. shot by Kylie. 110 low ton, leaving a 42 for Steve Nance to take a crack at. So Danielle's coming up to the board, hoping to be able to leave a finish in case Steve is unable to capitalize on the 42. <coughs> so Nance hoping to hit a trip 14 here and is able to hit the single and going for the double. And busts on a 42. 56, leaving Jason Seeger the door open. Mm -hmm. And if anyone can take out a 170, it's Jason. Jason Seeger. With what we've seen today, I would be surprised. 
He does hit the first bowl. And can he hit? Oh, oh right underneath. Just underneath with 130. Yes. Leaving a 40 to finish, but Kylie coming up to the line hoping to take out this trip 14 and put them one step closer to winning the tournament. And a bust again on a 51. So Danielle Cameron has a chance to steal this leg yes, away. She does. With a double 40. Double 40. I keep <laughs> doing that. A double 20 for 40. That's all right, Jess. She was on it, too. She hit the wire. Come on, Danielle. And still double out. Double she 14. Has, she still has, and she she has, still a, has chance. a crack at it. Oh, and this is just left of the board. So, again, leaving the door open for Nance. Who can take this out and put them one step closer. And that'll do it. That is leg one. Nance and Kylie taking leg number one. So they are one win away from winning this tournament. Yes. But next up uh, is Cricket, and with Jason Seeger getting to go first and the kind of darts that we've seen him throw today, uh, there's a good chance that this this first set's going to go to three. So we'll see uh, we'll see what kind of damage Jason Seeger can do with his uh, first three darts. So we're gonna bring uh, Brian McCrickard back on, finish up uh, this match. So Jason Seeger with just three three marks on the twenty, but able to close it out. Nance is going to punish this. But Nancy Pants coming up. He's gonna punish. He's gonna hit seven. He's not gonna hit seven. Only able to get that two. That is a rare round from Steve Nance. Unable to capitalize on uh, just the three marks from uh, Jason Seeger. So Danielle, door's wide open. She can go wherever she wants here. She goes first shot at points, smart darts. Puts 20 points on the board. Let's see if she stays or goes down to the 19s. Big Fine. third. Hammers. Hammers that trip 20 for 80 points on the board. Now, I'm not familiar with Nance's partner. I but... am not either. Okay, what's his name? His name is Kylie. His name is Trip 19. It That's absolutely, huge. That was a huge first start. And four on the 19s. It's a big big way to pick up your partner. Though. Absolutely. Now, absolutely. Seeger looking to punish this here. Absolutely. Does he go white horse again? He'll go back up to them 20s and hit those 20s. That second dart is so underrated because Absolutely. he blocked that trip 19 and then stuck that dart right and in there. still was able to sneak it in underneath. I like Nance here, though. He's, he's uh, He looks determined. He does. And he, uh, with another trip here on the 18s. Big six mark. So Huge six mark from You Steve know what Nance. you're going to get out of Steve Nance. You know what you're going to get out of Jason Seeger. And the big thing is going to be what can Danielle do and what can Jay... Uh, Nance's part. Uh, what's his name? Kylie. What can Kylie do? So this is going to be, um, I think it's going to turn into a battle of their partners. Absolutely. So and Danielle Cameron taking a shot at those 18s. She'll go back to the 20s and miss the trip on either side with that triple one, which is my favorite number on the dartboard. So Kylie with a chance here to punish that. I mean, Absolutely. He could definitely do some damage here. And with hitting six on the 18s. And a triple will take the point lead. That's a great oh, shot, that though. He's back on it. So now Seeger has an interesting shot here because if you go three singles, you leave Nance a four mark to get back in the game. Absolutely. So we'll see what he does here. I think he goes trip 20 for a start. He went 18, oh, okay. He went trip 18. With, if I was, well, we were both wrong. I like it. Oh, he went second dart. was a little. Second. And 
is able to hit it. With wow, the I did not see did not him see shooting coming. three darts. No, at that. I did not either. But a big shot. What is, what is persistence pays off. Absolutely. So Nance moves on to the 17s here. But a seven mark here. Bury, he can bury nine in there. Ooh, he took a shot. That was. A, that was I like it. Darts. I actually like it. I I, I can't say I, I like it. I know Nance, and that's his shot. That's I like it. It's very confident mark. shot. Absolutely. But and it leaves Danielle a chance to go four here to be huge again. Danielle loves those 17s. She hits that 20. Don't think she won't look at it. Let's see if she goes down or stays up. I think, I think she'll she take stay a there. shot. She did I think stay there. She did stay there. I think if she hit it the first start, she would have took a shot. But um, very smart shot there. Now, this is a big shot here because if you hit that 17, where do you go? Do you go at the 20 or do you stay 17? That's a big first. That's a big dart. And he's going to close that 20. I'd, I'd imagine he'll stay the up. I was gonna That's 100% the right shot. That's Absolutely a great shot. Right shot. Now, Seeger has to go big here. He has to hit a trip 20 on the first start. I think if he hits a trip 20, he'll take a shot. I, th I see a nine mark from Seeger here. Oof. And he that does is a manage huge four. Third dart. Huge third dart. So he does manage to get. 80 points up on the board. So I, I feel like Nance would go trip 16 here. I just I, I have a weird feeling about that. It's like the close. Huge, that is a huge, huge five shot. Mark. Huge shot by Steve Nance. Putting him 23 points up and taking the 20s right out from under Jason and Danielle. But now Danielle's 16. She loves 16. She does love I think those that's 16s. actually to her advantage here because she's a better shot at 16s and 20s. Oh, and just wires that eight. And is managed okay. to put two in. This is where it comes down to having a good partner. Because if he could come up here and hit a six mark and this game's over, even a three mark I think is a big shot. You leave this open for Seeger, it could get dangerous. Absolutely. Big third dart coming in here. He's definitely thinking about that. I like staying there. You're all over it. I like that too. Okay. Switches it up. But I think either way, if you hit what you're aiming at on the third dart, it's not a bad shot. You can't ever say, oh, it's a bad shot. You hit what you're shooting at. I think it's a good shot. Now, Seeger can punish that. Triple will take the big lead six mark by Jason six. Seeger. Putting 80 points on the board, that's going to bring Nance up. So his first dart will be at that trip 17, hoping to hit that 51 points. And he does. He did, wow. I think he's going to close it now. And he stays. I think he'll close on the third. And a what a shot by Steve eight Nance. Eight mark by Steve Nance to almost. And a little bit of a roar. Yes. I like it. A little aggression. Now, Danielle has to hit here to get them back in the game. It can yes. be done. She just has to be on it here. She's not too far from it. And there's a trip. Give me one more in that triple. And, and that's a good four, four mark. So we'll do it. it makes Steve's partner think about it here. Because yes. if you miss your first two, do you stay on or do you close? You cannot leave Seeker a shot here. I like the second dart. <laughs> Stay there. I like it. Seeker still has a shot. Absolutely. But you make it a little more difficult. A little bit more of an added pressure for Jason Seeger to no. hit the big shot here. He hasn't been as sharp this game. I'm, I'm interested to see if he bounces back here. And does he go for the 17? Yes. And he. Oh my it. god. It's big. Nine mark, which I called. I that said is huge. That was huge. And that's how you bounce back from having a rough start. Now, Nance can still answer this. He's got to close that 15. He's going to take a shot at 15, I think. Right here, I'll take a shot. Which he, he did. And it's a great he close. Hits it. It's a great close. That's, that's, a, that's great a textbook close. shot. Get the bullseye, and that's a 3 3 game. Now Absolutely. you make Danielle hit. And, and, and now it's, on, it's up to Danielle. You to put a little pressure on your at partner. Least get one. Maybe two, hopefully three, to I, send us to a decider. I think either way it's going to come down to either Nance's partner's going to hit or Seeker's going to take it. I don't think yep. Nance will shoot again this game. 
I agree with you there. But it's a, it's a beautiful shot to set that up. And Daniel, Daniel just a little bit outside. Unable to capitalize. So that's so. going to put a little pressure back on Seeger either way because if, if he doesn't take this out here, Seeger so has to hit three. We're going to put the bullseye three. cam up. I like it. And Kylie with the first dart bull. Can he finish? And he does. One more. And, and he hits a hat trick to, win the, to game. win the game. What a shot. That is absolutely that clutch. That was absolutely clutch. And look at those numbers. 2, 8, 3, 5, 1, 7, 5, and a 2. Not and bad that, for a little Saturday night Saturday draw. Night That's draw. beautiful. And that was a That is a shot under pressure. You can't describe how much of a clutch shot that is. Right, absolutely. Nance and Seeger are going to give you their shots. Yep. Danielle was hitting. He had to hit that hat trick, and he came up and was huge. So and he did, and he hit that hat trick, and and that's gonna do it for this blind draw. You're at Cushions, um, and uh, your champions, Steve Nance and Kylie. Are we sticking around for their picture? I think we're gonna stick around for the picture. Yeah. I feel like somebody may hold Nance in their picture. Like Nance <laughs> is just one of those guys. He's, Pocket size. He's a fun guy. He's yes. a fun guy. I love Nance. That's a great job. Seager's an amazing shot. I mean, those two guys, th those are your Columbus All-Star yep. teams. I mean, that you just you got to tip your hat to both of them. They're going to shoot their game. But Nance's yep. partner was just a little better than Danielle there. Yep, just in that game. Just Nicola, a little better. Yep. And, I mean, nothing from Danielle. Danielle's an amazing shot. But at the end of the day, it came down to the partners, and Nance was a little better. So, I mean, it's a hell of a match, though was it was a great match um, you know and we we got this blind draw done and it's not even what 12 o'clock yet 12 12 that's a good time and we're we'll be it's three hours and 59 minutes almost four what? hours we've been so streaming i lost twice in like an hour so i can vouch that this has been going really quick <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but a huge shot by nancy's partner and you know these these blind draws we talk about the great shots like Seeger and Nance. Yes. We don't talk about their partners a lot. Right. And, and we have to give a shout out to that because without his partner there, he has won that game. Right. Because I feel like 100% of my heart, Seeger hits that hat yes. trick. He's going Jason, to game five. If Jason would have had that shot at that bowl, he'd have, he'd have probably taken it out in two. I think he takes it out in two. He did it the second game, yeah. he took it out in two. Yes, he did. So the, the fact that he stepped up and hit that hat trick was amazing. So. You know, we talk about the big shots, and we can sit here and say, oh, this guy, this guy, this guy, but we don't talk about the, the, the partners enough. And the fact that his partner stepped him and hit that was huge. Absolutely. I mean, a great job by both of them. I don't think they lost a single match tonight. So definitely earned it. Absolutely. Congratulations, Jason. Nice shooting, Jason. Hold on, Jason, come here. <laughs> Get in there. Get in here. All right, all right. Come on, join it. Join it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to sit down with uh, Jason Seeger. We were just talking all kinds of good stuff about him, so we're going to sit down with him for a minute. Um, and uh, let's talk about your perfect 501 game. That yes. Yeah, awesome, it, man. It, that wasn't a bad game, and hello, everybody <laughs> who's still up watching. Yeah, it's that one felt really good. And it looked really good, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I really, really wanted to back it, and I was so close to putting a second one up it right was. afterwards. And, I mean, uh, we counted you through 16 perfect darts. So you threw uh, two hat tricks and took out a 109 nice. with, your, with your first uh, nine darts, and then you did not miss a bullseye until your 17th dart. <laughs> I did not realize that. I was not so getting that kind of count. We, well, we were because <laughs> that's what we do. That's what we were able to do by watching this way. Um, so uh, for those of you that don't know, Jason Seeger is uh, my fellow uh, MFN dart teammate. Um, so we've got some big things coming at you from with MFN darts. Um, so make sure you keep an eye on uh, on us because we we plan to make a statement in the oh, yeah. coming months. So oh yeah, we're doing our best. Yeah, out so there doing work. So uh, you know you know make sure that uh, give MFN a a, night, a a like and a follow, um, and make sure you keep an eye on for upcoming events that uh, you'll see some of your uh, favorite MFN team members uh, competing in. Um, and, uh, so that, I mean, it was, it was good, man. Oh. You threw really well today. I, I, I tried. I, it's, I did what I could, and, you know, congrats to the winners. Absolutely. On, on beating us in two. It was a fun match. Yeah, it was a fun tournament. It was yeah, good, it really was. Good time. So, uh, make sure, uh, if you guys haven't already, uh, go ahead and, uh, give us a like and a follow and share the stream if you're interested.
Yes, like, follow, share, always. Yes. And uh, tell your friends and uh, make sure that uh, make sure that you you keep looking for uh, the next uh, live stream. Um, I believe the next event that we have is going to be uh, the meet and greet with the uh, the crew of the storm. Uh, so you can uh, sign on, and uh, Tommy, Lori, and I will be on stream uh, to answer your questions. Um, so you know, give you tell you what we're all about, what we're trying to do, and. Uh, so make sure that you tune in on Thursday at 4 o'clock um, and just keep an eye out because we're going to be doing a lot of these streams. We're going to be doing, a, we're trying to do a, a lot of good stuff for darts. So yeah, big, keep an big, eye out. Big things coming to Columbus. Absolutely. All right, everybody. So, Jason, thanks for sitting down yeah. with me and chatting with me for a minute. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. All Brian, right. Brian has one thing he wants to promote. So, I just want to get on here. So, in Columbus, the gold doubles. I want to talk Schaefer for a second. A lot of people are scared to jump up to the gold doubles. Okay. We, we saw tonight there's some really good daughters in Columbus. Yeah. Jess came to me, and, and I'm, I'm nobody special. I'm just, a, I'm just a dart player. Jess came to me and said, I want to play gold doubles. Will you play with me? Absolutely. I forgot about it. <laughs> well, she messaged me about a couple weeks ago and said, well, we're, we're still doing this right, so we're going to do it. So always strive to better yourself at darts. It doesn't matter if you're a B dart and you want to jump to A's, if you're a C dart and you want to jump to B's, if you're a novice and you want to jump to C's. Don't settle for being in the division you're in. Be better. There's a guy, Mike Hansen. He um he he went from a C daughter to an A daughter in like six months. I'll he, tell you what, Mike Hansen. Shout out, one of my favorite 100%. people I've met through darts. Great Love dude. you. Amazing Love guy. You, Mike Thank God he's still here. But amazing yes. guy. He's a good daughter. He wanted to get better, and he did. And Jess, you want to get better. You've done an amazing thing with darts. You've started this. You, you've You've done so much for darts, but you're wanting to get better, and that's what matters. So yep. I don't care what happens, but whether we stream it, we don't stream it, we see anything else, know that you're amazing. You and Lori both, amazing what you're doing right now. Keep getting better. If you're not confident in your darts, get confident, get better. Have fun with it. This Absolutely. is what it's all about. Get on this stream. This is what this is all about. Yep. You've got a match coming up September 3rd. Watch that match. If you think you want to get on this, get on the stream. You can do it. Jess is going to be a gold dart. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh, no, you're there. <laughs> <laughs> There's no getting there now. Jess, you're there. We're signed up. There's no turning back now. 100%. But, again, touching base on Schaefer Leagues. Like I said, over 60 locations in the central Ohio area that offer Schaefer Dart Leagues. Get yourself involved. Grab a friend. Grab a family member, co-worker. Sign up. What's the worst that can There's happen? Singles, doubles, trios. Uh, look, when I first started playing d gold, I know Lori and Jess were in the s low silvers, and, and, and now they're both playing gold. Yep. So you can do it. Just strive to be better. It's, it's possible. I mean, they're putting together an amazing thing here. Big shots to them, too, for promoting Columbus starts in general. This stream is not about being a great daughter. It's about having fun and being competitive. So Absolutely. So you're going to see matches where you're not going to see five O's every game. And that's not what it's all about because we're not all Leonard Gates. Jesus, that guy's amazing. <laughs> but what you're going to see is you're going to see competitive darts, and you're going to see people getting better, and that's the biggest thing about it. So big shout. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Lori. Thanks you for coming on. You guys an amazing thing with this. And I'm telling you what, gold doubles. We're winning. coming for you. We're winning that. Gold doubles. Especially you, you, I'm like, you suck, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and sticking with us and liking, sharing, following our stream. Keep a lookout for more uh, live stream dart challenges here at the Storm. Um, any questions, co uh, comments, uh, suggestions, please contact myself, Jessica Keller, uh, Lori Simpkins, or Tommy Coburn. Um, we'd be happy to answer your questions. If you want to get on the stream, send us a message. We'll get you a date. We'll get you a time. Um, so uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are out of here. It's late. We're tired, and we are signing off. So uh, thank you guys again very much, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday.
See you later.